Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Blood Sacrifice to Millions of Zombies, I Will Be a Demon Cultivator in the Apocalypse. Chapter 41 One Step, Two Steps, Three Steps The baby lying next to the crib had its mouth wide open, smiling. However, in its innocent eyes, a sinister desire was revealed. Sharp fangs had grown in its slightly open mouth, giving it an extremely eerie appearance. However, Zheng Yi seemed to have not noticed the baby's transformation. He was like a puppet being controlled by an invisible force, walking towards the baby. He reached out his arm, ready to embrace it in the next moment. But then, in the next second, Zheng Yi suddenly stopped in his tracks. The baby's previously evil smile also froze in place. It anxiously called out, its crimson eyes flickering with a strange fluctuation as its invisible spiritual power surged towards Zheng Yi. Have you run out of tricks? The blood embryo ghost infant truly lives up to its reputation as a secret technique that leaked from the netherworld Dao hundreds of years ago, a forbidden art in the demonic path. I didn't expect that even though you're just a ghost infant yet to be born, you already possess such methods. You even know the art of enchantment. With my mid-stage chi refining cultivation, I almost fell for your tricks. Fortunately, I have the soul capturing banner as my life bound law weapon, and the backlash of the black shot technique. Otherwise, if it were someone else, they might have been deceived by you, sacrificed themselves, and released you. Zheng Yi spoke slowly. There was no longer any dullness or confusion in his eyes. He was extremely clear minded, without a trace of being influenced or deceived. With a pair of clear eyes, he looked at the ghost infant within reach, a murderous intent filling his heart. Truly worthy of being a ghost infant that could reach the minimum threshold of a foundation-building stage cultivator once born. Even before its birth, it possessed such enchanting methods, making it an incredibly cunning ghost creature. The Qi family had been planning for a hundred years, secretly constructing a blood-flesh demon pool and nurturing the blood embryo ghost infant with the Nine Yin Gathering Evil Pulse Formation. Countless humans and animals were sacrificed, their flesh and souls used to bring this ghost infant closer to being born. But even with just one step left, it couldn't break through the blood egg. So when Zheng Yi appeared, the ghost infant used the enchantment technique, attempting to control him and sacrifice him to consume his flesh and soul, bringing itself one step closer to being born. However, the Qi family was ruthless enough. No wonder Zheng Yi felt the abnormal spiritual energy in this place as soon as he arrived. The location of this black iron ore vein was extremely peculiar, with a hidden subsidiary vein beneath it. There must be at least one finished spiritual vein present, otherwise, it wouldn't be able to sustain the operation of the Nine Yin Gathering Evil Pulse Formation. Now it seemed that his previous speculation was correct. The Qi family had hidden the existence of this subsidiary spiritual vein a hundred years ago. When they secretly arranged the Nine Yin Gathering Evil Pulse Formation, they drained all the spiritual energy from the spiritual vein, turning this area into an extremely desolate place. The Qi family spent a hundred years setting up this plan for the birth of the ghost infant. Once it was refined, it would be equivalent to having a foundation-building stage cultivator in their ranks. Although with the quality of this blood embryo ghost infant, it could only reach the minimum threshold of a foundation-building stage cultivator's strength. But a foundation building stage was still a foundation building stage. By then, the Qi family's strength would undoubtedly greatly increase, giving them more choices. Even if the assimilating soul sect discovered their plan and turned against them, the Qi family would still have plenty of room to maneuver. In the demon realm, where demonic cultivators competed fiercely, mercy towards others was never the priority. It was all about the survival of the fittest, strength above all, and the strong being respected. As long as the Qi family possessed a ghost infant that was even more mysterious and terrifying than a foundation-building stage cultivator, even if the assimilating soul sect knew the truth, they would most likely handle it with care. Without exaggeration, the Kijia endured humiliation and carried heavy burdens, all for the sake of this ghost infant that can be compared to the foundation-building stage. They paid almost a century of time from two or three generations of their family, countless resources, a spiritual vein, and the backlash of their ancestral karma. The cost was the dispersal of their souls and even the unexpected inclusion of the last three high-level chi refining stage cultivators in the family. Only success was allowed, failure was not. But things don't always go as planned. Just the unexpected betrayal of Zheng Yi, this fierce dragon crossing the river, 
ruined the Kijia's hundred years of effort. If the Kijia ancestors were to find out, they would probably come to seek revenge from Zheng Yi even if they had to become ghosts. Of course, he definitely won't have that chance. As the ancestral bloodline, the mastermind behind all this planning, the immense backlash of blood karma has long caused his soul to disperse, unable to even enter the cycle of reincarnation. A hundred years of planning, all for nothing. You really are a monster. You're already so fierce before you're even born. What will you be like when you're actually born? Even if you haven't been born yet, an ordinary mid-stage chi refining cultivator probably wouldn't be able to do anything to you. You're just unlucky to have encountered me. Do you really think you can escape from my grasp? Zheng Yi's face was solemn, his expression serious, and the blue flames on the soul-capturing banner in his hand were rolling. Endless yin energy filled the sky. At this moment, he activated the full power of this life-bound law weapon. The spiritual energy within Zheng Yi's body poured in without reservation. Strange red bloodlines appeared on the surface of the soul-capturing banner, crisscrossing and forming 99 ghostly seals of binding. Amidst the chilling wind, ferocious yin soldiers and fierce ghosts emerged. Yi, truly a forbidden technique and ghost creature that the heavens and earth cannot tolerate, this blood fetus ghost infant already had some level of intelligence even though it was still a long time away from being born. Feeling the deadly danger emanating from the soul-capturing banner in Zheng Yi's hand, the blood fetus ghost infant curled up into a ball. It desperately tried to show an innocent expression, making urgent baby sounds. Its sharp teeth and claws had already retracted, displaying a cute baby-like appearance. Binding ghosts, controlling yin and yang. Those not of our clan will have different hearts. Remember, remember, Zheng Yi clearly remembered that in front of the inner sect gate of the assimilating soul sect, there stood a stone tablet with a phrase engraved on it that he still remembered very deeply. Due to the assimilating soul sect's frequent dealings with ghost creatures, they encountered all kinds of strange and varied creatures. Some had tragic experiences before their deaths, some were forced to die, some were dismembered and slaughtered, and so on. All the experiences before death were extremely tragic. But anything said by ghost creatures cannot be trusted. This has become the first iron rule of the assimilating soul sect. When facing ghost creatures, no matter how tragic their fate was in life, one must not hesitate to take action against them. Because once a person's grievances turn them into a ghost, yin energy is born, and they are no longer the person they were in life, but a different kind of race. Those not of our clan will have different hearts. This truth was derived from the experiences of countless generations of ancestors and countless cultivators who personally experienced it. Just like this blood fetus ghost baby in front of me, no matter how tragic its origin is, and no matter how much it resembles a human baby. But its essence is indeed a creature that has devoured countless living beings' flesh, blood, and souls, dedicated to the demonic path, and once born, it will step into the terrifying monster's foundation building stage threshold. This monster hasn't been born yet, but it's already thinking of confusing Zheng Yi. As long as Zheng Yi doesn't notice and touches the blood egg, it can suck dry his flesh, blood, and soul, gaining even greater benefits. This is the true nature of this monster. Without the emotional constraints of humans, it only possesses a tendency towards evil and chaotic instincts. This is what's most terrifying. Because this creature lacks inherent emotions, it is a born killer, but it doesn't lack intelligence and thinking. Therefore, once Zheng Yi becomes alert and regains consciousness, Facing the threat of the soul-capturing banner, the unborn ghost baby once again puts on a pleasing expression, completely disguising itself as a human baby, in order to deceive and gain sympathy. These are all instincts, but also a kind of disguise. The Qi family is no more. You don't need to be born now. For this extremely dangerous ghost creature, it is simply impossible for Zheng Yi to continue using human flesh and blood as sacrifices. On one hand, this would bring about an enormous amount of blood karma and the karma of heaven and earth, essentially severing his future path of cultivation, and even possibly falling into the demonic path directly. On the other hand, even if he becomes a demonic cultivator, Zheng Yi still has a bottom line as a human. Without this, without the anchor of humanity, it's uncertain whether his future advancement on the path of cultivation will truly be his own or something else entirely. Madmen like the Qi family are not very common even within the demonic Tao sect. Extending his hand and spreading it out, 
the soul capturing banner slowly rotates in the palm, invisible yin winds blowing, the banner's surface fluttering. Following Zhang Yi's command, the most powerful yin soldier blood clothed ghost, who is the main soul of the soul capturing banner, leads a group of fierce ghosts and yin soldiers to fiercely pounds. In an instant, the surface of the skeletal altar is already covered by countless black mist, revealing the shapes of numerous ferocious and hideous ghosts. They crazily surround the bronze coffin, growing black ghost claws and madly tearing at the blood eggs that encase the ghost baby. Among them, the unborn blood fetus ghost baby feels the deadly threat and wriggles in agony within the belly of the corpse, letting out a howl of pain and madness. It no longer has the adorable shape of a human baby that previously deceived Zheng Yi, but has become completely black, with blood-red eyes full of ferocity and resentment. Its claws are sharp, its forehead protrudes, a true demonic baby monster. If it were a born ghost baby, it could easily tear apart these fierce ghosts and yin soldiers, truly crushing them. But now, before being born, the ghost baby is truly like a baby in swaddling clothes. Facing the overwhelming fierce ghosts and yin soldiers released by the soul-capturing banner, the ghost baby is completely powerless against the harm through the blood fetus. It is merely a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. Moreover, the blood eggs that encase it are a great supplement for these fierce ghosts and yin soldiers of the soul-capturing banner. The Qi family's hundred years of planning and sacrifice have built the blood flesh demon pool, which has absorbed an unknown number of living beings. The essence of flesh and blood has all been absorbed into the blood eggs that wrap the ghost baby, making it like a powerful central converter, continuously supplying nutrients to the ghost baby. Not to mention the blood and flesh essence that has precipitated on the blood eggs, entwined with resentment and malevolence, which has greatly benefited these fierce ghosts and yin soldiers of the soul-capturing banner. Especially the blood-clothed ghost, who is the main soul of the soul-capturing banner, on her delicate body, a trace of fresh blood gradually seeps out. This is a sign that she is evolving towards the blood-malevolent level, a hundred-year-old ghost creature. Fortunately, Zheng Yi had previously found a way to advance the soul-capturing banner's level in the sect's transmission hall. I have collected some materials and unexpectedly obtained a very rare piece of Zhe Po Yin. I added it to the soul-capturing banner, giving a small upgrade to this law weapon, stabilizing the impact brought by the evolution of the blood-clothed ghost. Wait, at this moment, stimulated by the strong potential for evolution, all the yin soldiers and fierce ghosts have gone crazy, devouring the essence within the blood eggs. Just then, the blood-clothed ghost, who is the main soul of the soul-capturing banner, unexpectedly defied Zheng Yi's command. Her delicate and fair hands gradually turned into hideous and pitch-black ghost hands, piercing through the barrier of the blood eggs and fiercely grabbing towards the ghost fetus inside. You rebellious creature, dare to defy the command of the banner's master. At this moment, cold light flashed in Zheng Yi's eyes. A demonic law weapon is still a demonic law weapon. Although it advances rapidly and has great power, it is far less reliable than a orthodox immortal law artifact. Once the fierce ghosts and yin soldiers inside nurture evil and rebellion, even the main soul like you will not be spared. Seeing the blood-clothed ghost, the main soul of the soul-capturing banner, being instinctively stimulated and going berserk, showing a fierce intention to devour the ghost fetus. Zheng Yi snorted coldly, suddenly waved the soul-capturing banner in his hand, and at the same time ordered her to stop, casually collecting the ghost fetus inside the blood egg into the soul-capturing banner. Roar! Suddenly realizing that the prey in her hand had disappeared without a trace, the blood-clothed ghost, as the main soul of the soul-capturing banner, immediately knew what had happened and went mad. She no longer had the appearance of a fair and young girl. Her entire appearance had undergone a huge change, becoming grim-faced with blackened teeth, and her body grew huge. She stared at Zheng Yi with blood-red eyes and let out a silent roar. You dare to disobey the command of the banner's master and still dare to rebel. Seeking death, Zheng Yi snorted coldly and directly waved the soul-capturing banner in his hand. Swish. As the main soul of the soul-capturing banner, the blood-clothed ghost was directly controlled by this law weapon, unable to stir up any trouble. At the same time, a group of flickering green demonic flames ignited on Zheng Yi's body, spreading his palm forward, directly facing the blood-clothed ghost. A group of green flames shot out from Zheng Yi's palm, directly covering the entire body of the blood-clothed ghost. The boundless pain extinguished the ferocity in her heart, making her let out a painful howl and repeatedly beg for mercy. 
Dealing with these cunning and ferocious ghosts, the demonic cultivators have gone through countless generations of research and training, and have long had a set of effective control methods. The restrictions and control set by the soul-capturing banner have already penetrated deep into the bodies of the Yin soldiers and fierce ghosts, making it not so easy to break through. Unless the banner's master is on the verge of death or has no ability to resist, it is almost impossible for these ghosts to rebel. And Zheng Yi knows even better that dealing with these Yin soldiers and fierce ghosts is like taming hunting dogs. The methods must be tough in order to make them fear and completely subdue their ferocity. So once this kind of situation arises, Zheng Yi directly takes ruthless action. After burning her aura, Zheng Yi dissipated the green flames and said coldly, this is the first and last time. Otherwise, next time, you will become food for other fierce ghosts. The icy voice made the main soul of the soul-capturing banner, the blood-clothed ghost, tremble intensely. She regained the appearance of a fair young girl, and her blood-colored eyes showed a terrified expression as she repeatedly knelt down and begged for mercy. Zheng Yi ignored her pleas for mercy and directly collected the red-clothed female ghost along with the other yin soldiers and fierce ghosts. In this bizarre world of the apocalypse, there were all kinds of ghostly creatures. Although a fierce ghost of bloodthirsty quality was rare, Zheng Yi was not hesitant to collect them. If the red-clothed female ghost dared to resist again, he would simply replace her main soul. Different races have different hearts. Once entering the path of ghosts, one is no longer human. Even if the resentful ghost in the soul-capturing banner had been refined into a yin soldier, it was still a creature of the underworld, devoid of human emotions and restraints. Without an anchor, it was always a wild wolf that couldn't be tamed. Once given the opportunity, it would inevitably turn against its master. This is the nature of ghostly creatures, it's not about treating them well in order to receive good in return. Therefore, Zheng Yi showed no mercy when dealing with the blood-clothed female ghost. As long as she showed the slightest sign of resistance, he would give her a warning the first time and dispose of her directly the second time. Zheng Yi wasn't just saying it for fun. He couldn't possibly have any sympathy for these creatures filled only with resentment and hatred. Being kind to a woman would only harm himself. After collecting the blood eggs of the blood fetus ghost baby with the soul-capturing banner, Zheng Yi did not stop exploring. On the contrary, he made the soul-capturing banner carefully remember the aura of the ghost baby and walked towards the depths filled with skeletons. The result he found surprised even Zheng Yi, who was well-versed in the world. No wonder the Qi family has spent a hundred years, starting from its establishment, to lay out such a plan. Advanced Qi refining cultivators are willing to risk their souls scattering. They're not just after one ghost baby, but five. Where did they find so many women with extreme yin constitutions? But refining these five blood flesh demon pools must have cost the majority of the Qi family. Ambitious and grandiose, the Qi family not only wants independence, but clearly wants to create a thousand-year cultivation family, or even go further and replace the assimilating soul sect's position. Along the way, Zheng Yi directly discovered four formations. In other words, the Qi family, over the course of a hundred years and several generations, had continuously built five formations to incubate five blood fetus ghost babies. This method even made Zheng Yi feel admiration. It was like going all in on a poker table, gambling the entire family. The means were truly extraordinary. As a result, Zheng Yi became even more certain. The Qi family must have mastered some unknown secret technique that allowed them to find women with extreme yin constitutions. Otherwise, such arrangements would not be possible. Without rice, a clever housewife cannot cook. Extreme yin women are of no use to ordinary people and must also be virgins. Finding them is like finding a needle in a haystack. Even if the Qi family has a secret technique, they have only managed to collect five extreme yin women with foundation integration quality over the years. One can imagine how difficult this is. Once these five blood fetus ghost babies hatch and are refined by the Qi family, the family will suddenly possess the power of five foundation building stage cultivators. It's no wonder the Qi family has gone mad for generations due to this temptation. Even the assimilating soul sect, which has been passed down for hundreds of years, only has three foundation building stage experts on the surface. Of course, this journey is not over yet. Zheng Yi can be certain that the assimilating soul sect is not as simple as it appears on the surface. There are definitely hidden powers at play. 
but it is still terrifying and shocking that the Chi family secretly cultivated five ghost embryos and ghost infants at the foundation building stage, making one's back feel cold. It was just a coincidence that Zheng Yi accidentally disrupted the Chi family's century-long plan. After acquiring the means to deal with the first blood embryo ghost infant, Zheng Yi used the same method to suppress and control the other four, and collected them with the Soul Capturing Banner. With the upgraded Soul Capturing Banner, which can now bear the weight of five unborn blood embryo ghost infants, it seems to have reached its limit. Zheng Yi has no choice but to speed up and gather the remaining materials to upgrade the Soul Capturing Banner, preparing to turn it into a more powerful Supreme Grade Law weapon. Otherwise, the majority of Zheng Yi's current combat power, which comes from the Soul Capturing Banner, will be limited by its quality and unable to unleash greater power. This will also hinder his ability to refine and assimilate more Yin soldiers and fierce ghosts, which is not a good thing for Zheng Yi and may even affect his cultivation speed. Cultivators at the Qi refining stage generally use ordinary low to mid tier law weapons, while only high level Qi refining cultivators have the qualifications and strength to wield high level law weapons. As for supreme grade law weapons, even foundation building stage cultivators do not possess many of them, and they are often used as main battle law weapons. As for realms beyond the foundation building stage, more powerful cultivators at the Violet Palace stage use spiritual weapons, and Zheng Yi is not quite sure about the names of the even more powerful law weapons that come after. There are a total of five cave chambers, each containing a large bronze coffin, inside of which is a small pool of flesh and blood. Within each cave chamber, the position of the skeletal altar is one of the five formation eyes of the nine yin gathering evil pulse grand array constantly devouring the spiritual energy of the earth veins and condensing malevolent energy, laying the foundation for the birth of the blood embryo ghost infants. Standing at the position of the last formation eye, Zheng Yi looked at the underground pit that resembled a forest of skeletons, and even his cold and indifferent face showed some shock. The higher-ups of the Qi family are dead. If he hadn't known about the secrets hidden below, discovered the location of the skeletal altar, and successfully destroyed these altars, then in a few years, when these blood embryo ghost infants truly emerged, not only the entire Badoong town area, but even a radius of a hundred miles would likely be engulfed in the most terrifying slaughter, becoming a realm of ghosts. In that situation, even the assimilating soul sect would find it difficult to deal with. Of course, there is another possibility. That is, the assimilating soul sect has other means to subdue and control these five blood embryo ghost infants. In that case, the assimilating soul sect would gain a great advantage and their strength would skyrocket. It would probably not be difficult for them to wipe out the ongoing hundred beasts sect war. Of course, these are just thoughts. Once the five ghost infants fall into Zheng Yi's hands, it would be like trying to take meat buns from a dog. There is no way he would give them up. The strength of the assimilating soul sect has nothing to do with him. Revealing the clues of the five blood embryo ghost infants rashly would probably only bring about a calamity of killing. It would be better to make himself stronger. That is the real priority. Therefore, Zheng Yi decided to hide the deepest secrets of this place and destroy all traces. Just bluffing his way through would be enough. Further inside, Zheng Yi discovered a hollowed out hall. There was no one inside, only neatly arranged various demonic secret techniques. The blood slaughter soul refining technique, blood sucking body tempering technique, white bone casting technique. The essence of the nine yin gathering evil pulse formation, complete guide to cultivating ghost infants. A rough estimate revealed that there were dozens of different demonic secret techniques in this hall, which already constituted a considerable fortune. Although the level of these demonic secret arts is not considered high, it is evident that the Chi family has put in a lot of effort to gather so many of them. However, what interests Zheng Yi the most are three of them. The Essential Guide to the Nine Yin Gathering Evil Pulse Formation, the Complete Guide to Cultivating Ghost Infants, and the Manual for Manipulating Ghost Infants. Zheng Yi first opens, the Complete Guide to Cultivating Ghost Infants. He is very curious about how the Qi family cultivates these eerie blood fetus ghost infants. According to the book, these blood fetus ghost infants require at least a hundred years of cultivation to succeed and require a large amount of nourishment from flesh and souls. Most importantly, they need to be conceived by virgin girls born in yin years and impregnated with demonic seeds. Then, they need to be nourished with various precious demonic materials. 
After the fetus forms, the pregnant woman is subjected to cruel torment, allowing her to accumulate immense resentment. The fetus absorbs the pregnant woman's hatred and gradually transforms into a ghost fetus. Especially when the fetus is about to be born, the pregnant woman has already been captured and her soul has been taken, turning her into a corpse, placed in the eye of the nine yin gathering evil pulse formation, sustaining the nourishment of the ghost infant with a pool of blood and flesh, until a hundred years later, when it is completely born. The Qi family is truly a group of lunatics. When Zheng Yi sees this, he finds it horrifying. According to the records, tens of thousands of women have been killed by the Qi family in order to find women with extreme yin constitutions. What's even more terrifying is that ghost infants are difficult to tame. In order to refine them, there must be a blood connection. Zheng Yi's scalp tingles when he reads this. This means that the five ghost infants carried by the five extreme yin women are actually of Qi family bloodline. Only with the connection of bloodline can the higher ups of the Qi family have the confidence to refine and tame the ghost infants. The Qi family has gone to the extreme in doing such things. The cycle of heaven, the retribution is not unjust. Perhaps I am the punishment of the heavens upon the Qi family. These words inexplicably come to Zheng Yi's mind, but he shakes his head and dismisses this strange thought. In fact, the Qi family has already cultivated these five blood fetus ghost infants for a hundred years. In a maximum of three years, these ghost infants will be mature and born. Perhaps feeling triumphant, the Qi family has become a bit arrogant, but Zheng Yi directly suppresses them, making them unable to die any further. Once these ghost infants are born, they will be calamitous beings that do not belong to the five elements. If they were to escape, they could create a ghost domain in a region. Although they still need three years to grow, it is absolutely impossible to cultivate them using human flesh and souls, as it would be burdened with blood sins and overwhelming karma. But it seems that I have found a bug. These blood fetus ghost infants have already formed and have consumed countless resources. It would be a pity to destroy them directly. What if I bring them back to the doomsday event and cultivate them with endless zombie flesh and vengeful spirits? Since these blood fetus ghost infants only need about three years to be born, and considering the bizarre methods and formidable strength described in the records about these ghost infants, Zheng Yi can't help but be tempted. With the doomsday world as his backing and unimaginable cultivation resources, improving his strength is not difficult. On the contrary, what he lacks the most now is time. If given enough time, Zheng Yi believes he can go far on the path of cultivation. In the dangerous demon realm, Zheng Yi needs the ability to protect himself, and these controllable ghost infants are undoubtedly very good helpers. At least the ghost infants equivalent to the foundation building stage cannot be ignored in terms of combat power in this area. Of course, Zheng Yi cannot cultivate them using the cruel method described in the Netherworld Dao secret technique, which involves using the flesh and souls of living people. This malicious method has already crossed Zheng Yi's bottom line. But don't forget, in a world full of zombies, these flesh and blood monsters mutated from humans, as well as those eerie ghosts, are extremely nutritious, enough to hatch creatures like ghost infants. Now, with the, nine yin gathering evil pulse formation, and the, manual for controlling ghost infants, everything is ready, only the east wind is missing. Thinking of this, Zheng Yi left this area, sealed the entrance again, found Qi Lin, gave him some instructions, and chose to go into seclusion. Under the thunderous means, he believed that Qi Lin was a smart person and didn't need him to take action on how to deal with the Qi family. Dot dot dot. Boom. The booming sound of cannons echoed through the land, and the flames rising from the ground directly engulfed the dense horde of corpses. The terrifying explosive force shattered everything within a radius of over 10 meters. Numerous limbs flew into the air, and every zombie caught in the cannon's roar was blown to pieces, none were spared. Good, good. This is a small human gathering place, inhabited by thousands of people. The leader is Jin Wuxian, an esper who controls fire. He has gathered a batch of weapons, including two 80mm cannons, making it a heavily fortified base. With powerful firepower and the strength of espers, an area within dozens of kilometers has been cleared, with few traces of zombies. However, in recent days, a horde of tens of thousands of zombies suddenly gathered and swept in from the south. The base was caught off guard and the massive horde of zombies broke through the alert range, approaching the base's survival line. The situation was critical, with zombies covering a range of several kilometers. 
In order to survive, Jin Wuxian had to order the use of heavy artillery, creating flames and explosions within the horde of zombies. The power seemed considerable, with each shot able to reduce dozens of zombies, but compared to the thousands of zombies, it was hardly worth mentioning. Bang, bang, boom, boom, the area around the base had long been filled with traps and landmines, and as the horde quickly broke through this area, the number of zombies was reduced by more than 10%. However, this rapid reduction in the number of zombies did not make Jin Wuxian, the leader, happy. Instead, his expression became more serious. The horde of zombies, still in large numbers, fearlessly surged towards the gathering area, like a tide, mixed with some red-eyed zombies and mutated zombies. He personally witnessed a zombie that looked like a giant, five meters tall, with bulging muscles all over its body. Even if a shell exploded next to it, it had no effect and continued to charge like a tank. There were also other zombies, their flesh stripped off, evolved to be more suitable for running, as fast as lightning, constantly maneuvering through the explosions, completely unaffected by the shells. Even such powerful mutated zombies, at a glance, there were dozens of them, and it would be difficult for all the Esper mutants in the entire gathering area to handle them. A deep sense of powerlessness rose from the bottom of Jin Wuxian's heart, even the leader himself now felt helpless and unable to turn the tide. No, I can't die yet. If it's really impossible, we can only give up this gathering area and establish a new territory elsewhere. But after spending so much time, finally building up a team, are we just going to disband like this? A deep sense of unwillingness surged in Jin Wuxian's heart. His eyes turned red as he faced the approaching zombies, roaring and shouting in anger. Fight against these walking corpses. Either they die, or a thousand of us in the gathering area will be buried with them. What should we do? You decide. Everyone, kill them all. Various gunshots echoed through the air as numerous humans aimed their firearms at the zombies and opened fire. The effect was evident as a large number of zombies fell instantly, revealing a large empty space. However, more zombies quickly filled the gap. Roaring and crowding, they rushed towards the crude defensive fortifications. Fools, aim for the head before shooting. Who told you to hold the trigger without letting go? I don't have many bullets for you to waste. Heavy machine gun, hurry up, aim at that tank zombie and fire. Quick, quick, the chaotic sounds on the defensive fortifications merged into one, curses and screams intertwined. The horde of zombies, like a dark cloud, pressed forward like a tidal wave. The terrifying sight deprived many people of the opportunity to think. They only knew to desperately pull the trigger, not even hearing the clicking sound when the bullets ran out. Leader Jin Wuxian was still trying to boost the morale of his subordinates, but the terrifying tank zombie had already reached the defensive fortifications and was pounding against the wall. Several fast zombies even rushed onto the city walls, unleashing terrible carnage. Screams resounded within the defensive fortifications, the piercing cries greatly dampening morale. Many people, even if they held weapons in their hands, looked around, wanting to escape from this place. Everyone, charge forward, there are zombies all around, there's no way to escape. If we don't get rid of them, they will get rid of us. Die, monsters, leader Jin Wuxian desperately activated his flames, a ball of orange fire instantly hitting a tank zombie. With a bang, the fireball exploded, the intense heat directly igniting the entire tank zombie. The scattered flames also burned many other zombies, instantly turning a hundred or so into ashes, unable to die any further. Although the strike of the Esper was powerful, he was also targeted by a fast zombie. Only a blur was seen as sharp claws swept across leader Jin Wuxian's neck. Fresh red blood splattered, and he fell down weakly. A thought flashed through his mind. If only I had escaped earlier. Is the gathering area really going to end like this? Just as he was about to close his eyes, he saw a silver light sweep across the city wall, as fast as lightning. Even the speed zombies had no reaction in front of the silver light, their heads flew up one by one, directly killed. Someone is coming to rescue. Which gathering area are they from, brothers? A pale face struggled to show a faint smile, and the leader Jin Wuxian slowly closed his eyes. Just as the crude city wall was almost breached, a silver light flashed like lightning, sweeping away the speed zombies that had broken through the city wall in just a few breaths. Then the silver lightning flew from under the city wall, 
heading straight for the tank zombies, piercing through their eye sockets and flying out from the back of their heads, bringing up a white mass of something, completely dead. In the blink of an eye, the silver lightning swept away the most threatening mutant zombie, killing them all. The surviving humans in the gathering area were filled with incredulous expressions, some couldn't believe their eyes. What exactly happened? Why were those mutant zombies, who were not worth mentioning, swept away in an instant by the silver lightning? It was truly unbelievable. At this moment, a voice suddenly sounded from above. Submit to me and become my subordinates. I can protect your lives, even if you are surrounded by a horde of zombies, I can let you survive. A bright voice sounded, and a figure descended from the sky, standing on the defensive fortifications on the city wall. The figure was tall and straight, wearing peculiar clothes, but very clean. There were countless bones under his feet, and the silver lightning was also stopped opposite him. In his right hand, he held a peculiar black small flag, with a pair of cold eyes scanning everyone around him. Is that a flying sword? Someone who can manipulate metal, a metal attribute esper? Or someone who can manipulate magnetic field power, a magnetic field esper? Dot dot dot. Finally, Someone saw clearly that the thing that looked like silver lightning was actually a floating long sword, defying the laws of physics by floating there. Another esper has come, and a very powerful one at that. I have never heard of anyone who can instantly kill dozens of mutant zombies. He wants to be the leader of the gathering area. The battle hasn't even ended, the horde of zombies is still there. Isn't he just talking nonsense? The posture of descending from the sky intimidated many people. But the horde of zombies besieging outside had not dispersed yet, sharp roars resounded all around, but they remained silent in response to Zheng Yi's conditions. Since no one opposes, then when I deal with this horde of zombies, you will become my subordinates. I save the lives of your entire gathering area. The agreement is reached. From now on, your lives belong to me. Anyone who dares to disobey my orders will be killed without mercy. As soon as the words fell, the figure turned his head, waving the soul-capturing flag in his hand against the wind. The blue flames on the flagpole covered the flag surface. Thick black mist surged out, and forty-nine fierce ghosts emerged from the surging black mist. Their claws were covered with blue flames, surging like a tide, roaring towards the horde of zombies. These fierce ghosts were all elite ghosts left after devouring each other. Moreover, with the addition of the blue flames of the Azure Profound Killing, their killing power greatly increased, and their claws could break open the heads of zombies. A wave of blue flames swept through, and a large number of headless zombies fell to the ground. It must be said that compared to ordinary zombies, these fierce ghosts refined by the soul-capturing flag were incredibly powerful. In a short period of time, under such terrifying attacks, the number of zombies rapidly decreased, and their power surpassed that of guns and cannons. Controlling fierce ghosts, is this the terrifying method of a ghost master? A ghost master, that's a mutant even rarer than an esper. But just now, he clearly manipulated a sword to fly and kill zombies. That's the symbol of a gold attribute esper. A ghost master shouldn't be that powerful. Could it be a dual mutation talent of a gold attribute esper and a ghost master? This esper, the ghost master is truly terrifying. He can annihilate a horde of zombies that can cover an entire region, but under his command, they are like adults bullying children, effortlessly. Besides being a powerful metal attribute esper, he is actually also a ghost master. If he becomes our leader, our gathering place will become even stronger. Looking at the figure standing on the defensive fortifications of the city wall, not particularly tall, as the overwhelming black mist surged, the fallen zombies below brought an unimaginable terrifying impact to the surviving people in the gathering place. For a moment, many people were starting to lose sight of whether it was an illusion or not. As the last zombie was killed, looking at the corpses of zombies covering the ground, the fierce ghosts and yin soldiers led by the red-clothed ghost queen suddenly raised their heads and let out a resounding howl. The boundless evil aura caused the figure on the city wall to have their clothes blown, giving off a terrifying feeling that couldn't be directly faced. Since no one opposes, then I am the leader of this gathering place. From now on, your lives belong to me. Accompanied by Zheng Yi turning around, his eyes swept across the crowd, and no one dared to meet his gaze. Greetings, leader. As a figure knelt down, like a chain reaction, it quickly spread, and the remaining survivors all knelt on the ground, 
bowing their heads, welcoming the arrival of the new leader. Very good. Standing on the city wall, Zheng Yi looked at the people bowing before him with a calm expression, without much change in his expression. He had been in this post-apocalyptic world for a while now, and he had a clear understanding of the rules of survival in this world. Reclaiming a small gathering place was really not a difficult task for him. For the sake of his future plans, Zheng Yi had to take this action. In fact, in this world that had been in the apocalypse for a long time, it wasn't a big deal for anyone to become the leader of a gathering place, especially for the people at the bottom. They had long been accustomed to a life of frequent ups and downs, and they only needed a leader who was strong enough to withstand the attacks of zombie hordes and other monsters. And Zheng Yi's previous battle, where he effortlessly annihilated thousands of zombies on his own, truly opened the eyes of the people, showing them what true terrifying power was. For such a powerful individual, there were hardly any objections to him becoming the leader. Very good, now I will issue the first order. Everyone, go down and collect zombie crystal cores, and according to my requirements, build special formation fortifications. Many people didn't understand what a formation was, but Zheng Yi had no intention of explaining. But instead, he directly appointed the flame-based esper Jin Wuxian, who was lucky enough to survive and was helped up by others, to lead a team and build a large formation on the ground according to his requirements. And the collected zombie crystal cores were arranged according to a certain pattern and placed in their designated positions. It has to be said that there is strength in numbers. With thousands of people working together, the crystal cores and the zombies, brains, which had been slaughtered by Zheng Yi below, were quickly collected. There were nearly a thousand zombie crystal cores in total, roughly a 10 to 1 ratio. Immediately, Zheng Yi stood on the defensive fortifications, stretched out his hand, and the floating flying swords around him crisscrossed, creating huge cracks. Using the flying swords, Zheng Yi carved a strange pattern on the ground, which no one present had ever seen before. But they obediently followed the commands of their new leader and placed the collected zombie crystal cores on the marked special nodes. Unlike the immortal domain, which requires spiritual stones and other materials to set up a large formation, Zheng Yi made some modifications. Using the zombie crystal cores as an energy source and the flesh and souls of zombies as a foundation, after the transformation, it became the unique, nine yin gathering evil pulse formation, belonging to the other world. Zheng Yi didn't need to directly transplant the formation from the immortal domain to this world. The energy in each world is different, so he used local materials to complete this formation. However, it has not been tested yet, and Zheng Yi is not sure how effective this improved, Nine Yin Gathering Evil Pulse formation will be. Moreover, even if it were the original formation, with Zheng Yi's current abilities, it would probably take a long time to collect all the necessary components. The Qi family also gathered the power of the entire family and took several decades to finally complete it. But one thing is certain, although the formation is crude, in this doomsday world, there is a constant supply of zombie flesh and souls. As long as they succeed once, it will be considered a success. The formation established in the hidden gathering place has already been sealed off, and only Zheng Yi, along with Jin Wuxian and a few other espers, remain in the field. They used their spiritual power to depict the formation, covering an area the size of a football field, and piles of zombie crystal cores were placed on various nodes of the formation. The few remaining espers looked at the over a thousand zombie crystal cores arranged in the field, their eyes filled with shock and confusion. No one knows what this new leader is planning to do. These are zombie crystal cores that can be used for cultivation. They are extremely valuable for espers and exorcists, as they can enhance their esper abilities but now they are being used to set up something incomprehensible. If it weren't for the fact that this mysterious esper is too terrifying, capable of single-handedly annihilating thousands of zombies and suppressing the entire gathering place with overwhelming strength, it is likely that some espers would have expressed dissatisfaction long ago. Faced with the confusion of his subordinates, Zheng Yi did not offer any explanation. He didn't save this gathering place out of compassion, but because he needed more people to work for him. Zheng Yi doesn't need them to understand, he just needs the gathering place to obey without question. As for setting up this simplified and improved Nine Yin Gathering Evil Pulse formation, Zheng Yi is also somewhat helpless. Mainly because the energy level in this doomsday world is too low to support the operation of the formation. Therefore, 
Zheng Yi had to make improvements and use the zombie crystal cores as the power source to activate the formation. In fact, Zheng Yi is also uncertain, so he initiated the operation of the formation for the first time. Formation. Activate. In an instant, Zheng Yi quickly circulated the black shot technique within his body, and a green flame erupted from his entire body, covering a space of several meters around him. A chilling sensation, penetrating deep into the depths of the soul, as if freezing the souls of those nearby. Almost simultaneously, Jin Wuxian and the other four supernatural beings standing behind him looked at Zheng Yi, whose body was covered in blue flames. Feeling the overwhelming pressure emanating from him, as well as the bone-chilling coldness, they couldn't help but shiver and retreat. A profound sense of awe suddenly arose in their hearts. In their eyes, Zheng Yi at this moment was like a deity or demon, and fear took root in their hearts, leaving no room for courage or doubt. Zheng Yi paid no attention to the changes in Jin Wuxian and the others behind him. Instead, he focused on infusing the blue flames into the formation. Suddenly, a point of light flickered, indicating that a node had been activated. Following the trajectory of the formation, one node after another was lit up. The colorful lights shone like stars, illuminating the enclosed space in a dazzling manner. Finally, the last node was activated, and the entire formation connected as one. The entire space suddenly brightened, then fell silent. Zheng Yi took a deep breath, and a calm smile appeared on his face. It must be said that luck was on his side. The modified Nine Yin Gathering Evil formation, powered by zombie crystal cores, had truly started operating successfully on the first try. Transport the zombie flesh and blood into the formation. As Zheng Yi spoke, Jin Wuxian and the other supernatural beings began to instruct the ordinary people behind them to gather and transport the zombies using various vehicles. The remaining people quickly moved the zombie flesh and blood, placing them in the designated locations pointed out by Zheng Yi. He went straight to the center of the formation, waved the soul-capturing banner, and placed the unhatched blood embryo of the ghost fetus in the center. He also set up a small enchantment to prevent others from being influenced by the blood embryo and doing anything, out of line. Standing outside the formation, watching the Nine Yin gathering evil formation in operation, with a large amount of zombie flesh and blood rapidly dissolving inside, supplying the blood embryo at the heart of the formation with energy and life force. According to Zheng Yi's calculations, it would take at least three years to successfully hatch these five blood embryos. After giving instructions, it was necessary to replenish the zombie flesh and blood in a timely manner at the gathering point. When the energy consumption of the formation showed signs of being too low, the crystal cores on the nodes could be replenished. After leaving behind a large number of zombie crystal cores, Zheng Yi returned to the Duya Immortal Domain. Dot dot dot. Even though he possessed ghost fetuses, which could reach the foundation building stage as soon as they were born, Zheng Yi dared not be the slightest bit complacent. Firstly, it would still take several years for these blood embryos to be born, and who knows what might happen during these years. Secondly, true strength lies in one's own power. Creatures like the ghost fetuses, which can grow stronger through the sacrifice of flesh and blood and the absorption of life force, are incredibly powerful and bizarre, enough to astonish people. Moreover, these kinds of creatures that defy the natural order are extremely ferocious and filled with boundless resentment. Given the opportunity, they will surely turn against their masters. With his current cultivation at the fourth level of qi refining, it would be somewhat beyond his capabilities to activate these blood embryos. However, there was little chance of advancing to the next level in a short period of time, as the soul-capturing banner had reached its limit. It was not advisable to act rashly, so he decided to postpone further cultivation of the black evil art for now. Zheng Yi directly focused on cultivating the mysterious evil body tempering technique. While diligently cultivating the mysterious evil body tempering technique, he continued to transmigrate to the apocalypse world, killing zombies to obtain their crystal cores. This is the most important thing for him during this period of time. In a short period of time, Zheng Yi was able to kill thousands of zombies, and even slaughtered a zombie town, including the zombie king who was almost equivalent to the sixth level of qi refining. He dug out zombie crystal cores, leaving behind high-quality ones to support his cultivation of the profound devil body tempering technique. As for the low-quality zombie crystal cores and some high-level zombies, such as the flesh and blood of the red-eyed zombie, 
he collected them all into the soul-capturing banner and brought them back to the gathering place to support the operation of the formation and hatch blood embryo ghost infants. Two months have passed, and although the time is not long, Zheng Yi's cultivation in the profound devil body tempering technique is not low. He has reached the stage of iron devil clothes. According to the division of realms in the profound devil body tempering technique, there are iron devil clothes, bronze skin, white jade bones, and finally the diamond body. It is said that when the profound devil body tempering technique reaches its highest level, the diamond body, the whole body becomes indestructible, and even a supreme grade law weapon of the foundation building stage cannot leave any injuries on it. As for the iron devil clothes, it condenses the devil energy into a suit of iron armor, with strong defense. Below the seventh level of qi refining, few people can break through Zheng Yi's defense. This seclusion did not continue, but there was an important situation that forced Zheng Yi to end it early. Are you telling the truth? In the main hall of the Qi family, Zheng Yi sat at the head of the family, his face serious as he asked. Qi Lin, worthy of being the rebellious child he valued, after taking over, directly killed almost all the members of the Qi family, including the main lineage of the family. He didn't even spare the collateral relatives who had close ties with them. After a thorough cleansing, less than 30% of the Qi family members remained. The ruthlessness of his methods made Zheng Yi very satisfied. Sir, I came to report this important matter as soon as possible. Qi Lin prostrated himself, his expression full of fear and respect, a far cry from his usual ruthless identity as the head of the Qi family. If other Qi family members were to see this, they would definitely be shocked. Lead the way, I also want to see what you said about the Qi family imprisoning cultivators. It turned out that Qi Lin brought news that there was a secret passage under the ancestral shrine of the Qi family, where a cultivator was imprisoned. Upon discovering this secret, Qi Lin did not dare to delay and reported it directly to Zheng Yi, which led to his visit to the Qi family. Qi Lin led the way ahead, entering the deepest part of the Qi family. They arrived at an ancient temple that had clearly been around for a long time. They walked to the shrine and turned a mechanism, revealing a passage behind it. Sir, it's down here. Okay. Zheng Yi nodded slightly, but as a precaution, he summoned the soul-capturing banner and walked down the passage. Qi Lin conscientiously led the way ahead. If there was really any danger, Zheng Yi would be the first to shoot him. Of course, the probability of this happening was very low. Zheng Yi was currently the biggest backer that Qi Lin could rely on. Since the downfall of Qi Yuanzong and others in the Ba Dong town mining area, there were many covetous individuals. If Zheng Yi wasn't his support and backing, Qi Lin wouldn't be able to hold his current position at all. This was something Zheng Yi was well aware of, and Qi Lin was even more aware of it. So, quickly, led by Qi Lin, the two of them walked through a passage several dozen meters long and arrived at a small room. In the room, there was something that could still be called a human. Zheng Yi glanced at Qi Lin. Qi Lin immediately understood and turned around to leave, returning to guard Zheng Yi on the shrine, preventing any idle person from disturbing him. Then Zheng Yi gathered his gaze once again and looked at the thing in front of him that could barely be called a human. In his lifetime, Zheng Yi had seen many cultivators. There were disciples of prestigious sects, descendants of cultivation families, independent cultivators being chased and fleeing in a sorry state, righteous cultivators acting arrogantly and recklessly, and ruthless individuals from demonic sects with sinister personalities. But no matter which kind, Zheng Yi swore that he had rarely seen someone as miserable as the person in front of him. This person no longer had the shape of a human. They were just a lump of flesh, stuffed into a small jar. Their limbs had been chopped off, their eyes destroyed, leaving only two black holes. Their tongue had been cut off, and when they opened their mouth, all that could be seen was a black mass, with only half of their tongue remaining. Both ears had been cut off, and their nose had been cut off as well. If it weren't for the white breath coming out of their mouth, Zheng Yi would have thought this person was already dead. Leaning in slightly to perceive, Zheng Yi's eyes shot out a cold light, furrowing his brows deeply. What grudge, what resentment, to make the Qi family act so ruthlessly and do such cruel things. Even this person's sea of consciousness and lower Dantian had been deliberately destroyed, completely turning them into a conscious pig. The methods were too ruthless, too venomous. Zheng Yi even felt that maybe he had been too lenient when he dealt with Qi Yuanzong and the others in the past. 
directly annihilating their souls would have been too cheap for them. Then his gaze returned to the conscious pig in front of him. This person was immersed in a large tub, and the water in the tub contained some herbs that restored vitality. It seemed to maintain the vitality of the conscious pig, preventing it from dying easily. Sensing someone coming in, the conscious pig suddenly reacted violently. An extremely resentful hatred filled the air, but it also seemed so helpless and desperate. Who are you? How did you end up here? Why did the chief family treat you like this? Torturing you like this, yet not letting you die, hiding you in this deep underground chamber. Zheng Yi used his divine sense to try to enter the conscious pig's mind and cautiously asked. As soon as he entered, Zheng Yi felt a bone-deep despair. Obviously, this conscious pig had been tortured by the Qi family for more than just a few days. Over a long period of time, it had been reduced to a cruel state of being like a living dead. The Qi family, you all deserve to die. The Five Elements Sword sect won't let you off. My master will avenge me. Ah, this conscious pig had suffered long-term torture, and its entire consciousness had become unclear. When Zheng Yi's divine sense entered, apart from the endless resentment and hatred, there were only curses of hatred and angry wailing. Stop! Zheng Yi furrowed his brows and coldly snorted, as if a thunderclap exploded in the conscious pig's mind, abruptly silencing the curses and wailing. The Qi family's ruling lineage has been exterminated. The main lineage has already been completely wiped out by me. It was my subordinates who discovered you. If you keep blabbering, I can't be bothered to deal with you. Just live or die here on your own. Zheng Yi's divine sense conveyed his consciousness, saying. His brows slightly furrowed, not holding much confidence. This person seems to have suffered torment for too long, their mind has become confused, and their speech has become erratic. Kijia has been destroyed, dead, completely extinct. Kiwanzong, Kiwanming, and those beasts are all dead. Really, really, the person's emotions paused, somewhat dazed. In fact, hearing the previous few sentences and thinking about what has happened in the past two months seems to confirm what Zheng Yi said. Previously, Kiwanzong would appear every three to five days to torment him, to threaten and entice him. But this time, it has been two whole months without any appearance. Something must have happened in between. I have no reason to deceive you. Besides, I don't even know who you are. What benefit would I gain from deceiving you? Zheng Yi said impatiently, but he still answered each of the person's questions. The Kijia brothers died by my hands, their souls scattered. They don't even have a chance to reincarnate. As he spoke, Zheng Yi transmitted the scenes of him killing Kiwanzong and the others to the person's mind. These scenes were vivid, projected by the mind, and the aura of the soul couldn't be faked. Although this person had been crippled in cultivation, their knowledge and insight were still intact, allowing them to clearly perceive that Zheng Yi was not lying to them. Ah, finally dead, those scum from Kijia are finally completely dead. As if the suppressed pain in their heart suddenly released at this moment, tears of blood flowed down their dirty and damaged face. Only now did Zheng Yi notice that although this person had been tortured to the point of being unrecognizable, their robe, though tattered and dirty, could still be recognized as the formal robe of a sect disciple. This made Zheng Yi even more curious about the true reason why this person was tortured and imprisoned. The Kijia brothers were all ruthless and decisive figures, they wouldn't torture someone for no reason just to pass the time. There must be a great secret for keeping this person imprisoned here. However, this person had endured long and cruel torment, and their resentment and grievances were being released. Zheng Yi silently waited. After a while, the person spoke again. Their tongue had been cut off, and their sea of consciousness had been destroyed, making it impossible for them to express themselves. But Zheng Yi's divine sense could enter their sea of consciousness, allowing them to communicate in this way. I won't mention my name. I am a true disciple of the small five elements sword sect. I entered the demon realm once and had a great battle with a demonic cultivator. I was seriously injured and accidentally fell into the hands of the Kijia. According to the person's memories, Zheng Yi slowly understood the whole process and the reason why they were imprisoned and tortured by the Kijia. This person, as a disciple of a sect, had a noble status. After a life and death battle with a powerful cultivator of the demonic path, they fell into the territory of the Kijia and were saved by them. Their cultivation was still shallow, and they had limited experience outside. As a talented disciple within the sect, 
they were well protected and had little exposure to the deceitful affairs of the demon realm. Facing the Kijia's inquiry about their life-saving grace, they unhesitatingly told their origin. However, they didn't expect the Kijia to have ulterior motives and secretly added even more terrifying poison to their food and medicine. They wanted to force him to reveal the true cultivation techniques of the small five elements sword sect. But this person was stubborn, no matter how Kiwanzong and the others pressured and tortured him, he swore not to yield. Unable to extract any answers from his mouth, Kiwanzong and the others resorted to cruel methods, turning him into a human pig. They gouged out his eyes, cut off his tongue, severed his nose, silenced his voice, destroyed his divine sense, turning him into a useless waste who couldn't speak, see, or move, without even a trace of divine sense. The purpose was obvious, it was for the secret techniques of the small five elements sword sect. Originally, the Qi family had been planning for a hundred years, cultivating those five blood-born ghost infants in the hope of creating five experts at the foundation building stage. However, they were only a Qi refining family, with a relatively low foundation. If they could find a way to obtain the true transmission method of the little five elements sword sect, they would immediately soar to new heights, greatly increasing their luck. At that time, they would not only have the strength of the foundation building stage, but also the true transmission method of the little five elements sword sect, which would be like adding wings to a tiger. No wonder Qi Yuanzong and the others were relentlessly pursuing this person. To be tormented to such an extent, yet still have his life spared, they did not want to kill him. It seems that the madness of the Qi family is hereditary. If it weren't for my accidental choice to come to this mining area in Badong town and sit in command, it's likely that they would have succeeded. Zheng Yi couldn't help but sigh inwardly, giving the Qi family a label in his heart, a family of heroes, and generation after generation of heroes. A Qi refining cultivation family, not only secretly nurturing blood-born ghost infants with the nine yin gathering evil formation under the watchful eyes of the assimilating soul sect, but also secretly imprisoning a direct disciple of the little five elements sword sect, plotting to obtain their grand sect's techniques. Such a thing, if spoken out, would probably not be believed by anyone. Who could have imagined that a small chi refining cultivation family had been planning for a hundred years, with each generation being as bold as the sky, crazy, and almost succeeding? This was simply a template for a demonic path that was about to take flight. Even Zheng Yi had to admire the courage of the Qi family's patriarch. The Little Five Elements Sword Sect was not a small sect. There were powerful Gold Core experts in the sect, making it a prestigious Gold Core sect that stood above the Righteous Path, even surpassing the assimilating Soul Sect in status. Among them, the status of the sect's true transmission disciples was extremely high, and each one was a genius. In the future, they would at least have the strength of the foundation building stage. Someone with qualifications like Zheng Yi's was probably not even worthy of being their shoe polisher. Such a genius, due to his own reasons and his simple nature, mistakenly believed the slanderous words of petty people. He was actually plotted against by Qi Yuanzong and the others, imprisoned in this underground basement without seeing the light of day, and even turned into a human pig, extremely miserable. Thank you for helping me seek revenge. I made a vow that whoever can destroy the Qi family will be my benefactor, and I will fulfill one request for him. What Qi Yuanzong wants is nothing more than the true transmission method of my little five elements sword sect, passed down from generation to generation, with a heavenly oath and a sealed prohibition. Even if I were in my prime, I wouldn't be able to disclose it to others. The pig-headed person's answer made Zheng Yi stunned, and he had some answers in his heart. But besides the core secret techniques of the sect, my lineage has been passed down for a long time, starting from the establishment of the Little Five Elements Sword Sect, and there are many techniques not listed here. I can tell you the names of the techniques, and you can choose three for yourself. But there is a condition. After you finish listening, give me a quick death. I have long lost face for my sect in my current state, and I have no face to live in this world. I only seek death to die early and be reincarnated early. It had to be said that the Qi family was too ruthless, which had the opposite effect. It filled this true transmission disciple of the Little Five Elements sword sect with immense hatred and resentment. After suffering such great torment, he was unwilling to reveal even a bit of secret to Qi Yuanzong and the others. 
But hearing that he had destroyed the main lineage of the Qi family and was willing to exchange secrets with a secret technique in order to seek death and express gratitude, Zheng Yi was extremely impressed by the will of this pig-headed person. After being tormented for so many years, he still didn't loosen his lips. Zheng Yi knew that he couldn't do it himself, so he readily agreed to this agreement after thinking it over. No one could ignore the transmission of the core secret techniques of a gold core sect. Moreover, Zheng Yi's own spiritual roots were not that great, and his aptitude could only be considered average, with shallow foundations. Otherwise, after cultivating in the Duya immortal domain for so many years, he wouldn't still be just a Qi refining cultivator at the third level. He urgently needs more cultivation methods to enrich his horizons. For him, this act is like giving charcoal in the snow. After receiving Zhang Yi's affirmative reply, the man nodded. Then a series of secret techniques and names of cultivation methods were received by Zheng Yi's divine consciousness. Looking at the list of secret techniques and cultivation methods in his mind, which were like old lady's foot binding cloth, Zheng Yi couldn't help but gasp for breath. It was really tempting. As a person like him, who had gone through hardships and joined the sect, experienced life and death trials, and desperately sought a high-level cultivation method but couldn't find one. But this seemingly miserable sect disciple, as soon as he opened his mouth, spoke a long string of techniques. I'm afraid many of them were just memorized cultivation tips that he himself had never practiced. Indeed, one couldn't help but marvel at the profound heritage of the Gold Core sect, far beyond the imagination of the bottom-tier independent cultivators. It's a pity that I can only choose three. But Zheng Yi was already satisfied. He scanned the catalog and finally settled on three. Immediately, a profound and complicated secret script entered Zheng Yi's mind. He repeated it to the person to confirm, and after confirming that there were no mistakes, Zheng Yi severed his vitality from a distance, allowing him to completely free himself and leave this world that had been full of blame. Then he released a flame, directly incinerating his body, and the last trace of his breath dissipated into the air. Zheng Yi fulfilled his promise and made the person completely disappear from this world. When everything calmed down, Zheng Yi turned and left the underground room, instructing Qi Lin to completely seal it off. Leaving Qi Lin to handle the follow-up matters, Zheng Yi returned to his secluded place. Dot dot dot, the small heavenly Vajra sword formation. The small five elements swords true escape technique. The small five elements swords foundation building technique. It's worthy of being the inheritance of the gold core sect. Although they are not core techniques, these scriptures are already apex level techniques in cultivation. Especially the last one, the small five elements swords foundation building technique. It's actually the legendary law weapon foundation building technique, using the sword embryo as the foundation. It's something I, as an independent cultivator in Zon Kong city before, couldn't imagine. After studying this secret technique throughout, Zheng Yi opened his eyes and couldn't help but say. The cultivation methods in the Duya Immortal Domain are divided into four levels, heaven, earth, profound, and yellow, representing the level of the technique's profundity and power. But for cultivators, the most important thing is, to what extent can this cultivation method be cultivated? Naturally, Qi refining stage techniques are not as precious as foundation building stage techniques, and so on. The more advanced the cultivation method can be practiced, the more precious it becomes exponentially, but Zheng Yi is too far away from it, and he doesn't know the specific situation. Among the two cultivation methods passed on to Zheng Yi by the person, both the small heavenly Vajra sword formation and the small five elements swords true escape technique are exquisite in the inheritance. And among them, what made Zheng Yi's heart burn the most was the small five elements swords foundation building technique. This technique does not belong to the level of cultivation methods, but is a foundation building technique, an extremely unusual secret technique for foundation building. Cultivators reach the foundation building stage after successfully refining their qi to the ninth level. However, foundation building has high requirements for aptitude, making it difficult for cultivators with slightly lower aptitude to achieve. In addition to having sufficient cultivation, in order to increase the probability of foundation building, one also needs to obtain a pill called the foundation building pill, which is made from numerous precious materials. However, foundation building pills are rare and expensive, making them hard to come by. 
They are also considered strategic resources for sects, which means foundation building pills are often unavailable to ordinary cultivators. However, in the immortal cultivation world, where geniuses abound, there are various methods to achieve foundation building, not limited to relying on external items. Achieving foundation building solely through one's own strong foundation and profound cultivation is known as the Heavenly Tao Foundation Building. Taking the foundation building pill is known as the pill Tao foundation building. In addition, there are certain supreme grade spiritual plants that can assist in foundation building through special methods, known as the plant Tao foundation building. Similarly, there is also something called the spirit Tao foundation building. The secret technique passed down by the true disciples of the five elements sword sect is an even rarer method known as the law weapon foundation building. More accurately, it is a smaller branch within the Law Weapon Foundation building, specifically the Sword Weapon Foundation building. Legend has it that ancient weapon refiners pioneered the Law Weapon Foundation building. The Five Elements Sword Sect Sword Weapon Foundation building is one of those methods. It is suitable for cultivators with mediocre spiritual roots, as it involves nurturing a law treasure embryo within the body through the art of weapon refining. Similar to how a pregnant woman carries a child for 10 months, the cultivator nurtures the law treasure embryo with their own essence and spiritual energy, gradually achieving a state of mutual understanding and connection between heart and bloodline. It is equivalent to recreating a pseudo-spiritual root, greatly increasing the success rate of foundation building. Of course, why the foundation building pill is prevalent in the current immortal cultivation world is because compared to other methods, it is the simplest and easiest to obtain. The Heavenly Tao Foundation building is the most direct and straightforward, but its success rate is not high. As for the Law Weapon Foundation building, it also has its requirements. On the contrary, because of its strict requirements, it has gradually become lost and unknown. To achieve Law Weapon Foundation building, on one hand, the cultivator's physique must be extremely strong, close to that of a foundation building stage cultivator, in order to withstand the impact of the Law Weapon spiritual power infusion. Secondly, the cultivator must completely refine the law weapon, requiring an enormous amount of spiritual energy, otherwise, success is impossible. Thirdly, and most importantly, the law weapon required for law weapon foundation building is not an ordinary law weapon, but a law treasure embryo that has self-nurtured spirituality. The law treasure embryo is not a true law treasure, and its power may not necessarily surpass the spiritual weapons wielded by Violet Palace cultivators. However, the fact that the law weapon can nurture spirituality is already commendable, representing the potential for the law weapon to further evolve into the rumored law treasure. These high requirements mean that an ordinary law treasure embryo may cost all the wealth of a foundation building stage cultivator, let alone a chi refining stage cultivator. Moreover, the difficulty of refining the law treasure embryo is ten times that of refining a law weapon of equivalent power. Besides foundation building stage experts, how many chi refining stage cultivators have the ability to do so. Therefore, it is these stringent conditions that have led to the gradual decline of other types of foundation building methods. So when Zheng Yi ultimately chose this, Five Elements Sword Weapon Forging Foundation Art, the true disciples of the Five Elements Sword Sect had some doubts. However, at that time, he was desperate and didn't care about Zheng Yi's concerns. Choose whatever you love, as long as he fulfills his promise. However, for Zheng Yi, especially after reading the complete Five Elements Sword Foundation building technique, he couldn't help but have some thoughts. Zheng Yi's own aptitude is not very good, only possessing the mixed spiritual roots of the Four Elements. Otherwise, he would have long joined a sect and wouldn't be an ordinary independent cultivator in Zan Kong City. But this Five Elements Sword Foundation building technique undoubtedly gave him strong confidence and the ability to go far on the path of cultivation. With the support of a post-apocalyptic world, Zheng Yi can barely achieve a normal foundation building. However, he himself would not be satisfied with that. Without a good method before, Zheng Yi plans to reach the peak of qi refining and prepare well, seeking ways to improve his aptitude so that he can go further on the path of cultivating a mortal Tao. Now, this five elements sword foundation building technique, based on sword cultivation, can reshape the pseudo-spiritual roots of the five elements. Invisibly, it artificially enhances the cultivator's aptitude through the crucial stage of foundation building. Of course, the requirements are also very strict, but after exploring it, 
Zheng Yi found that this foundation building method is undoubtedly very suitable for his own conditions. Firstly, there is the law treasure embryo. The true disciples of the Five Elements Sword sect probably don't know that the Qi family spent a hundred years and three generations to cultivate five blood embryo ghost infants. Now, all these ghost infants have fallen into Zheng Yi's hands. With the resources of the post-apocalyptic world, he has the confidence to forge a law treasure embryo level sword embryo. Even ancient cultivators, when choosing the law weapon foundation building, would choose their own best aptitude and cultivate a law treasure embryo of the same attribute, improving themselves further in their cultivation. But Zheng Yi's idea is even more crazy. Since he's doing it, he wants to do it the best. He himself has four spiritual roots, and the affinity of each spiritual root is about the same, all around 30% or less. Since he chose the five elements sword foundation building, he might as well achieve perfection in all five elements. Zheng Yi's idea is to use the five blood embryo ghost infants as spirit vessels, directly refine the five elements law treasure sword embryo, and then use the five sword embryos for foundation building, refining five pseudo-spiritual roots of the five elements. In this way, he can permanently elevate his own aptitude. As for how to have such powerful spiritual power to refine the five sword embryos, it all depends on the cultivation of the black shot technique. As long as Zheng Yi continues to cultivate the black shot technique, refining more resentful spirits and fierce ghosts, raising his own malevolent aura to the peak of the ink spirit Sha, or even to the level of the purple demon Sha, then refining the five sword embryos will not be difficult. Of course, the number of treasures and resources needed to collect and refine the five elements sword embryos will be a huge figure. So Zheng Yi needs to plan ahead and find a way to achieve both goals, in order to make use of the resources of the post-apocalyptic world. Besides, he is not in a hurry now, and he still has some time to prepare. But having a direction is definitely a great advantage for the future. Not long after, Zheng Yi found what he was looking for. In the Nine Yin Gathering Evil Vein Formation Cave under the Black Iron Mine, there is a secret stone chamber that contains various evil cultivation techniques that the Qi family has been searching for over the years. Many of them are extremely cruel demonic techniques, which Zheng Yi is not interested in. But these things can broaden his horizons, expand his vision, and increase his cultivation foundation. After some time of sorting, Zheng Yi found something interesting. Among them, he found a rare refining manual called the Five Poison Soul Cutting Sword. This refining manual comes from the demonic sect called the Five Poison Sect. It is a foundation-building level force in the northern region, said to be a small branch of the ancient Gu God sect, which has gradually declined until now. But there is still something to gain from a broken ship. The Five Poison Soul Cutting Sword is a remnant technique that has been passed down from the Five Poison Sect. Chapter 51 According to the instructions in the refining manual, the Five Poison Soul Cutting Sword is not just one sword, but can be refined into five different types of poisonous swords. These swords can harm the souls of cultivators at the foundation building stage and possess terrifying power. It is clear that the Qi family has been planning this for a long time. If their plan goes as expected, the five ghost infants can cultivate five foundation building stage cultivators. Even if they are only pseudo foundation building stage cultivators, with five different soul cutting poison swords, they can form a sword formation that is enough to challenge a late stage foundation building stage expert. However, Zheng Yi has a different idea. According to his plan, if he can merge the five poison soul cutting swords into one, using blood fetus ghost infants as the spirit of the sword and refining them into his own law weapon, he can achieve foundation building stage cultivation in all five elements. Once the Five Poison Soul Cutting Sword is born, Zheng Yi cannot estimate its power. Zheng Yi puts the matter of the Five Poison Soul Cutting Sword aside for now. After all, the materials needed to refine swords that can threaten the foundation building stage are precious and not something he can plan for at the moment. Moreover, his cultivation level is still low, only at the fourth level of Qi refining. He can plan for it later when his strength improves. Zheng Yi continues to cultivate the mysterious corpse body tempering technique. If he wants to quickly improve in the great Yi immortal domain, he needs a large amount of cultivation resources, which ordinary cultivators cannot afford. However, Zheng Yi creatively converts those cultivation resources into zombie crystals, combines them with the surging evil aura nurtured by the soul capturing banner, and sharpens them with the Qingxian evil of the black evil technique. 
This allows the body tempering technique to progress rapidly. In less than two months, Zheng Yi breaks through the first level of the mysterious corpse body tempering technique. A layer of evil aura condenses on the surface of his body, like a transparent film covering his skin. It appears ordinary, but it is extremely tough, forming an iron evil armor that can withstand attacks from cultivators below the high-level qi refining stage. If he were to face Qi Yuanzong and the others again, even if Zheng Yi just stood there, they would find it difficult to break his defense. This significant improvement in defense makes Zheng Yi very excited, and his attention is almost entirely focused on the mysterious corpse body tempering technique. Moreover, even though the mysterious corpse body tempering technique has already advanced to the next level, with the abundant supply of zombie crystals, his cultivation speed remains undiminished. The skin on Zheng Yi's body gradually begins to emit a bronze luster, a sign that he is about to reach the next level. In order to cultivate the mysterious corpse body tempering technique, Zheng Yi has a great demand for zombie crystals. As a result, he spends most of his time killing zombies in the apocalypse world. It can be said that Zheng Yi's cultivation speed in the mysterious corpse body tempering technique is visibly changing and progressing rapidly. Of course, Zheng Yi also benefits from the gathering areas he controls in the apocalypse world due to his large-scale slaughter of zombies. Especially the groups of corpses that pose a certain threat around the gathering areas have become Zheng Yi's primary targets. Once he takes action, he almost completely eradicates them. After all, zombies are zombies no matter where they are, as long as they have crystals. Therefore, after Zhang Yi rapidly sweeps the surrounding areas of the gathering areas and eliminates the threatening groups of corpses, the defensive environment around the gathering areas becomes safer. Moreover, due to Zhang Yi's crazy hunting, a large number of towns and villages have been cleared. These places have a considerable amount of survival supplies. After receiving Zhang Yi's orders, the remaining personnel in the gathering area, under the leadership of Jin Wuxian, quickly cleared the dangerous areas around for resources and gathered various supplies. Looking at the huge amount of resources piled up in the gathering area, Jin Wuxian, a fire-based supernatural being, was a little stunned. He secretly sighed, wondering what kind of background this leader of their gathering area had. Was he a slaughter maniac who enjoyed killing zombie hordes? Or was he a mysterious figure with a hidden grand plan, capable of covering the sky with one hand? In any case, Jin Wuxian considered himself no weakling when it came to Zheng Yi. However, facing this seemingly difficult to get along with mysterious leader, he couldn't help but feel a little apprehensive. Whether it was the kind of massacre that mowed down zombie hordes like autumn leaves, or the mysterious and massive formation arranged deep in the gathering area, involving eerie rituals that sacrificed countless zombie flesh and blood, Zheng Yi was shrouded in a thick fog. But he had to admit that, at least for the current gathering area, Zheng Yi was the most indispensable, even the most suitable, huge umbrella. Moreover, after Zheng Yi took control of the entire gathering area, he not only did not suppress the main figures of the original gathering area like Jin Wuxian, but also did not interfere in the affairs of the gathering area. Instead, he allowed the original elders to manage the operation of the entire gathering area. This management style gave Jin Wuxian the feeling that the entire gathering area was completely left to its own devices, while Zheng Yi, the so-called leader, floated outside the gathering area. He was like a huge umbrella, sheltering the entire gathering area from wind and rain, but too lazy to even glance at it. It seemed that looking at it a little more would only be a burden to him. This created a strange and contradictory combination. Zheng Yi became the new sky of the gathering area, but did not interfere in its development, only watching from the sidelines. It was as if he was a stranger, just a passing traveler. However, this new leader's strength was truly formidable. In just a few weeks, he almost swept away all the zombie hordes within a hundred kilometers of the gathering area. Jin Wuxian had personally witnessed the new leader single-handedly charging into thousands of zombies, including many mutated zombies with various abilities such as tanks, claws, and assassins. This horde of zombies, which was enough to destroy the gathering area, was suppressed and annihilated by the new leader's released ghost horde within a short ten minutes. Since then, Jin Wuxian completely focused his attention on carrying out the tasks assigned by the new leader. Dot dot dot. Two months later, the gathering area, which was not originally very large, had expanded threefold in size and doubled its population, with taller walls built. 
guards armed with various firearms stood on the walls, vigilantly surveying their surroundings. At the entrance of the gathering area, several tanks were parked, which were the spoils of Zheng Yi's clearing of an armory. The defensive strength had increased several times over. If faced with an attack from a zombie horde of the same scale as before, the current strength of the gathering area would be able to handle it directly, without Zheng Yi needing to take action. Due to sufficient supplies, various crops had already been planted on suitable land nearby, presenting a thriving scene. Food supplies had also been greatly replenished, and people's faces were no longer pale but had a healthy flush. Within the gathering area, a considerably large free market has also emerged, selling various goods. People come and go, creating a lively atmosphere. It must be said that since Zheng Yi took control of the gathering area, the changes have been tremendous. The people in the gathering area have a very high level of recognition for this mysterious new leader. In the northeast direction of the gathering area, a restricted zone has been marked off, where ordinary people are not allowed to enter. This area is filled with armed guards. Any outsiders who approach without permission will be warned to leave. If they insist on advancing, the guards will not hesitate to shoot them on the spot. In addition, heavy firepower is deployed in several hidden locations. Even the ability users would have a hard time resisting the continuous bombardment of tank rockets. Only vehicles carrying zombie flesh and blood travel through here, entering the underground space through a relatively short underground passage. Then, the leader's guard unit, led by Jin Wuxian, transports the zombie flesh and blood to the final destination. This place used to be a parking lot, but after renovation, it has become a huge underground space. In this underground space, Zheng Yi personally arranged a massive, nine yin gathering evil pulse formation. As the population continues to increase, this formation that consumes zombie flesh and blood is no longer suitable to be placed outside, as it would cause unnecessary trouble. Instead, Zheng Yi personally hid it underground, where only a few people can access it, ensuring both safety and secrecy. Zheng Yi, dressed in a black robe, is shrouded in shadows. He gazes at the continuously operating, nine yin gathering evil pulse formation, where a large amount of zombie flesh and blood and soul essence condense into strands of blood mist. Under the traction of the formation, they surge towards the blood fetus ghost infants at the center of the formation. Those blood fetus ghost infants, with their eyes closed, greedily absorb the blood mist. Different from ordinary people's mortal eyes, Zheng Yi's eyes flicker with spiritual light. He can see through appearances and perceive the essence. His gaze can clearly see that the blood-colored luster on the surface of those blood fetus ghost infants flashes and disappears, as the endless essence of zombie flesh and blood is absorbed into their bodies. It must be said that these mutated blood fetus ghost infants have extremely strong adaptability. Under Zheng Yi's forced changes, they have completely adapted to the input of zombie flesh and blood energy essence, and their absorption is effortless. Good progress, just keep it up. A deep voice came from under the black robe, carrying a tone of praise, causing Jin Wuxian to relax and quickly respond. Looking up again at the new leader standing before him, even though Zheng Yi is motionless, that invisible aura presses on Jin Wuxian's heart like a giant stone, giving rise to an indescribable feeling of awe. So unfathomable, it seems that the impression he gives people, has become even stronger. This is not Jin Wuxian's illusion. While practicing the, mysterious evil body tempering art, Zheng Yi's cultivation has advanced further, becoming a cultivator of the fifth level of qi refining. Turning his head, under the black robe, Zheng Yi's face is completely hidden in the dim shadows, revealing only a pair of captivating eyes. Those deep eyes are like a pitch black abyss, staring at Jin Wuxian. Facing the leader's gaze, Jin Wuxian's heart feels as if it's being held by a large hand, and he is completely suffocated. He involuntarily lowers his head, his face showing a fearful expression, and his forehead is covered in a layer of fine white hair and cold sweat. It must be said that the pressure brought by this new leader is truly immense for him. Especially witnessing Zheng Yi's astonishing performance against the horde of zombies time and time again, Jin Wuxian is completely convinced and has no other thoughts. Um, actually, when Jin Wuxian lowered his head, Zheng Yi clearly felt the change in the other party's emotions. As a demonic cultivator, it is also a required course to detect others' true thoughts and emotional changes. Demonic cultivators act mysteriously and often resort to any means necessary, but in reality, except for those lunatics, most of them leave traces. 
only interests are the driving force behind their actions. After taking control of the entire gathering area, Zheng Yi did not act unilaterally. He was also too lazy to get involved in such daily matters. He didn't even have enough time for cultivation, and dealing with the eating, drinking, and fighting of these thousands of people was just a waste of time for him. Let Jin Wuxian, the original leader, continue to exercise his power, as long as it satisfies Zheng Yi. As for other rights or various trivial benefits, Zheng Yi doesn't care. What he wants is obedient dogs, not biting wolves. As the saying goes, rewards should be given for merits. Zheng Yi took out a small bag and threw it to Jin Wuxian. This is for you. Practice well. Take care of this place for me. After speaking, the black robe surged, a gust of wind blew by, and Jin Wuxian quickly bowed and sent him off. When he looked up, the leader had already disappeared. Jin Wuxian looked at the high-level zombie crystal nuclei stored in the bag and couldn't help but be greatly shocked. To be honest, the new leader of his own family doesn't seem like a good person at all. He seems more like a great demon who acts without scruples, or a terrifying conspirator and lunatic planning some major conspiracy in secret. But it cannot be denied that he does things in a grand manner. He knows how to delegate power, never competing for benefits with subordinates, and is generous with his actions. Jin Wuxian swears that he has never had such a generous boss before. A bag of high-level zombie crystal nuclei thrown casually feels like money in his eyes, no different from a stone on the roadside. Following such a generous boss, even if it means going through fire and water, he dares to go out. Dot dot dot. After advancing to the fifth level of qi refining, Zheng Yi temporarily put aside the matters of the doomsday world and came to the Duya immortal domain. He had something more important to do. Badoong Town Mine, gathering Qilin and others, the main hall of the Qi family was once again filled with people. Zheng Yi's gaze swept across the upper seat, and naturally, the one sitting at the lower seat was his newly recruited lackey, Qilin. The others were also promoted by Qilin's recommendation. It can be said that they were all the core members under Zheng Yi's command in the blood transformation. But Qilin knew in his heart that although the main vein had been almost cleared, it was still unknown whether these newly promoted people could be of great use. Therefore, on one hand, supervision was needed, and on the other hand, checks and balances were also needed. Therefore, not all of the promoted individuals were from the Qi family's collateral branches. There were also two experienced outsiders from the Qi family's business association. Such performance also made Zheng Yi quite satisfied. This was also the reason why he was willing to delegate power to Qilin. Dealing with smart people is easy. Although Qilin is smooth, there is no doubt that he is a smart person. With just a glance or a word, the other party can get things done for you. Otherwise, if power is delegated and all kinds of nonsense can still affect one's cultivation, then it would be necessary to find someone else to be in charge. Today, I have only one request for all of you. As Zheng Yi spoke, he scanned the crowd. Due to the current situation of the Qi family, these collateral descendants, cultivation levels were not very high. Those present were all at the Qi refining third or fourth level, like a group of insignificant soldiers. Although Zheng Yi's strength was only at the Qi refining fifth level on the surface, no one dared to treat him as an ordinary mid-stage Qi refining cultivator. Didn't you see the fate of the Qi family's three brothers, Qi Yuanzong and the others? If their corpses had been left behind, I'm afraid the grass on their graves would have grown tall by now. The adults have something to command. Qi Lin respectfully said with a solemn expression. Others followed his lead, bowing respectfully. Many people knew that the mining site in Badong town had already undergone a change, and Zheng Yi, the new person in charge, needed more help. Didn't you see how Qi Lin, a collateral descendant who was originally marginalized in the Qi family, managed to climb up by attaching himself to this powerful figure? He had become the head of the family and even controlled the entire Qi family. These newly promoted collateral descendants of the Qi family were preparing to show off their skills. Seeing that Zheng Yi had something to command, they were all eager to try. Looking around, Zheng Yi extended his right hand, and a white light flashed in his palm. When everyone looked again, they saw a greenish object in his palm, resembling amber. Upon closer inspection, it seemed to be filled with swirling mist. In an instant, the air around them became still, and everyone couldn't help but look at Zheng Yi with astonishment. 
This was a soul essence stone refined from the souls of resentful spirits and fierce ghosts. Although its grade didn't seem high, its quality was excellent. One could sense the pure yin energy contained within it from a distance. In the demon realm, this kind of thing was an absolute hard currency, comparable to spirit stones. If the Qi family had a large quantity of these pure soul essence stones, it would be very difficult for their chamber of commerce to not rise again. If we use resources like this soul essence stone to form a merchant group, who among you is willing to go? Several people exchanged glances, and led by Qi Lin, they all stood up and bowed. We are willing to share the burden for the adults. Very good. Seeing everyone's performance, Zheng Yi nodded slightly. Then, with a wave of his hand, a gloomy mist filled the air, revealing several black figures shrouded in the mist. Clad in black armor, wielding long knives, these figures were covered in an invisible black aura. Their facial features were indistinguishable, only revealing a pair of pitch black eyes flickering with cruel red light. When you go out, there will be great danger. These yin soldiers will ensure your safety. Under Zheng Yi's gaze, including Qi Lin, the current head of the Qi family, everyone began to refine the yin soldiers without hesitation. Since they wanted to attach themselves to a powerful figure, how could they gain the trust of the figure without giving something in return? So, it was certain that they had to make a pledge. When their aura settled down, everyone immediately felt a powerful force surging within their bodies. This power did not belong to them, but they could borrow it. Soon, someone couldn't help but activate the power of the yin soldiers, and the resulting punch wind directly elevated their strength to a higher level. Moreover, they could summon the yin soldiers to protect themselves at any time, making it foolproof. Just by refining a yin soldier, everyone's strength had generally reached the level of qi refining fifth or sixth layer, equivalent to the mid-stage of qi refining. Furthermore, since yin soldiers were born for battle, once they summoned these ghostly creatures to protect themselves, ordinary cultivators of the same level might not be their opponents. Thank you, Lord Xie, for your reward. Several people couldn't help but feel excited. Just by being summoned once, they were rewarded with such useful yin soldiers and fierce ghosts. It would undoubtedly be safer for them to travel outside. Of course, they were also well aware of another point. By refining the yin soldiers and fierce ghosts rewarded by Zheng Yi, they were essentially implanting a timed yin thunder bomb inside their bodies. After all, these yin soldiers and fierce ghosts were not refined into energy, but rather served as bodyguards, providing them with a means of protection. However, the true controller of these yin soldiers and fierce ghosts was still the Lord before their eyes. But even so, everyone was eager to be the first. At this stage, disagreement meant death. If they wanted to withdraw halfway, they could only be carried out as corpses. Moreover, wealth and prosperity were right in front of them. Their previous situation was already better than the lower class. Who would be willing to give up this opportunity? After all, the thigh was right in front of them, and it wasn't something anyone could just hold on to. Rewards for merits, punishments for mistakes. You all can go and prepare. Kilin will be in charge of this matter. Zheng Yi waved his hand slightly, and after the others saluted, they left. There's no other way but to monetize things from the Doomsday World like this. Although the Doomsday World had a large amount of demonic cultivation materials, it was quite difficult to convert them into spirit stones. After all, each world had its own unique characteristics, especially those cunning and treacherous monsters that had lived for hundreds of years. If this matter was not handled well and someone noticed, it would probably not be a good thing for Zheng Yi. Currently, Zheng Yi's cultivation level was still low, and he didn't need too many cultivation resources. He could rely on the Doomsday World to improve his cultivation level. But what about the future? Various elixirs, flying swords, law weapons, and so on. There were no alternatives in the Doomsday World for these things. They all needed to be purchased with spirit stones. Cultivation was not a small sum of money. Helplessly, Zheng Yi set his sights on the refined soul stones made from resentful spirits and fierce ghosts. Last time in the Blood Mist Abyss City, he had used 200-year-old refined materials made from green ghosts to bribe the sect's officials, which allowed him to obtain the qualification of an inner disciple. Money and cultivation went hand in hand. Money meant spirit stones. Without enough spirit stones, Zheng Yi would be unable to acquire the various law weapons, elixirs, and flying swords he needed. 
Apart from zombies, the most abundant creatures in the doomsday world were those resentful spirits and fierce ghosts. They were almost everywhere there was a surge of yin energy. There were large numbers of them, and as long as they were refined a little, they could be turned into soul stones, making it impossible to trace their origin. Moreover, these soul stones were extremely useful and essential for demonic cultivators. Whether it was refining tools, refining pills, or cultivation, they all required soul stones. The demand was enormous. Even if Zheng Yi produced a large quantity for sale, it would only be a drop in the ocean and wouldn't cause any waves in the market. As for handing the Yin soldiers and fierce ghosts to the others, on one hand, it was to protect them since their cultivation levels were too low. On the other hand, it was to monitor them. If they dared to act out of line, Zheng Yi would activate the Yin soldiers and fierce ghosts to control them. Afterward, Zheng Yi summoned Qilin alone, handed him a low-level storage bag filled with soul stones, and instructed him to be careful. Safety was the priority, so they should sell in small quantities multiple times and be cautious not to attract attention. Qilin expressed his understanding and then went to prepare the merchant group. Another month had passed, and when the situation at the Qi family had stabilized, the officials sent by the sect to investigate finally arrived. As soon as Zheng Yi met them, he presented a considerable amount of spirit stones. The officials, who had been serious and stern, immediately put on a smile, and the relationship between the two sides became extremely harmonious. To entertain the officials, Zheng Yi ordered the preparation of a high-quality banquet and invited Qi Lin to entertain the officials as well. It must be said that Qi Lin was a very smooth person. In front of the officials, he revealed all the wrongdoings of the Qi family's main branch and submitted a large amount of evidence. Especially regarding the embezzlement of the sect's assets, the officials were extremely indignant. The Qi family's main branch, despite being small, has deceived and embezzled a large amount of the sect's property. It's truly regrettable. With a thick stack of solid evidence, the actions of the Qi family's main branch were basically confirmed. The official who had come, Lu, immediately drew a conclusion. He determined that the Qi family had embezzled the sect's property and had also plotted against the sect's supervision. With malicious intentions, Qi Yi, an inner disciple, killed him on the spot. Although the methods were a bit harsh, they were in line with the rules of the sect. Zheng Yi not only did nothing wrong, but also made contributions. After thanking Lu for his praise and declining the sect's rewards, Zheng Yi directly demonstrated his understanding as an inner disciple. Led by Qi Lin, he presented a specially prepared beauty who had mastered the dual cultivation technique of the Red Pavilion Tower, as well as a considerable amount of hard-earned money. Lu immediately expressed that as a disciple of the sect, he was here to serve the sect, and he felt unworthy of these things. Then, persuaded by Zheng Yi, he reluctantly accepted them and, with the support of the beautiful woman from the Red Pavilion Tower, returned to his superior guest room. Both sides were very happy with the banquet and obtained what they wanted. Lu did not stay long and returned to the sect the next day, supporting his waist. He assured Zheng Yi that the matter would end here and the sect would not pursue it any further. Seeing Lu off, Zheng Yi couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Although it cost quite a bit to give away spirit stones and silence Lu, it was nothing compared to what the Qi family had secretly arranged. If this Lu official discovered something, it would probably not be something that could be resolved with just a few spirit stones. Perhaps after discovering the blood fetus ghost infant, Zheng Yi would have to take action and directly take this Lu official's life. Of course, after doing such a thing, Zheng Yi would quickly hide back in the doomsday world and prepare to live a life on the run under the pursuit of the assimilating soul sect. After all, even though Zheng Yi wasn't afraid of this Qi refining seventh layer official, once he made a move, he would have to betray the sect and flee to the ends of the earth. It was better to spend some spirit stones and completely resolve the trouble, which was more beneficial. Just as Zheng Yi had speculated, a small declining family like the Qi family, which didn't even have a Qi refining late-stage cultivator, wouldn't attract anyone's attention. Since all the members of the Qi family's main branch were dead, they could simply replace them with a new group of collateral descendants. For those in the sect, what they wanted was the fixed annual contribution of benefits. As for who would be in charge of the entire Qi family, no one cared. By directly giving spirit stones to Lu, Zheng Yi had also put down a major matter. Of course, these spirit stones came from the commercial caravan established by the Qi family. 
The soul stones that were put on the market were highly sought after due to their high purity and pure soul power. Therefore, soon, a storage bag full of soul stones had already been sold out. This is still in accordance with Zheng Yi's request, not too blatant, cautious, and implementing a policy of selling less and buying more. It barely lasted for less than a month, but earned tens of thousands of low-grade spirit stones. With the spirit stones, Zheng Yi's first step was to renovate the cultivation room, replacing many precious materials and recarving the spirit gathering array, making the spiritual energy in the cultivation room more abundant. Dot dot dot. In the secluded cultivation chamber, Zheng Yi sat cross-legged, surrounded by a large number of zombie crystal cores. In the darkness, each zombie crystal core was as clear as jade, shimmering with different colors, appearing extremely dazzling. Accompanied by the operation of the mysterious demon body tempering technique, Zheng Yi seemed to be wearing a black iron armor, with a heavy color that seemed to absorb all light, making the cultivation room even darker. Embedded in the ground formation nodes were numerous zombie crystal cores, and under the influence of the formation's power, the energy within the zombie crystal cores was released. With each breath, pure life energy flowed into Zheng Yi's body through his nostrils. Every time, a large amount of life energy entered his body, and under the layer of dark iron armor covering his skin, the exposed skin slowly turned bronze. This was a complete transformation of the second level of the mysterious demon body tempering technique, bronze skin. The defensive strength at this stage almost required a chi refining high level expert to go all out to break through. It already belonged to the top tier body refining existence in the chi refining realm. After the zombie crystal cores in the spirit gathering array released their life energy, they gradually dimmed and turned into powder. Soon, the colorful brilliance in the secret chamber gradually disappeared, returning to darkness. Hoo hoo, I didn't expect that it would only be the second level, and the mysterious demon body tempering technique would have such a high demand for the energy of zombie crystal cores. No wonder so many demonic cultivators are unwilling to cultivate this powerful body tempering technique. In the darkness, Zheng Yi, who had opened his eyes, muttered to himself. Compared to the mysterious demon body tempering technique, which required a large amount of resources, many demonic cultivators focused on cultivation techniques that allowed them to quickly upgrade their own cultivation realm. But for Zheng Yi, who lacked no resources, this body tempering technique was very suitable for his cultivation. He relied on the post-apocalyptic world, and what was the most abundant thing there? Of course, it was zombies. What did zombies have? Besides their rotten flesh, they only had crystal cores. Therefore, Zheng Yi could easily obtain a large quantity of cultivation resources in the post-apocalyptic world without worrying about the consumption of the mysterious demon body tempering technique. Moreover, after just reaching the first level of the black iron armor, Zheng Yi realized that the defensive power of this technique, which consumed a great deal of resources, was also quite astonishing. If he could smoothly cultivate it to the highest level, he might even be able to withstand attacks from foundation building stage cultivators. The defensive power would be equivalent to a foundation building stage defensive law weapon, which was truly unimaginable. To refine the body to be as hard as a law weapon, this technique was simply like cheating. Hum, what is this? Suddenly, Zheng Yi felt a hint of golden light emerging in the depths of his mysterious mind. He could only vaguely perceive that in his own mind, that point of golden light was very small, only the size of a bean, but the emitted golden light penetrated his body from top to bottom. Zheng Yi could clearly feel that as the golden light swept through, his heavy body seemed to have its shackles unlocked, and he suddenly felt lighter. The place where the golden light appeared, is it my sea of consciousness? As the most mysterious place in the human body, the sea of consciousness belongs to the deepest hidden region. It is difficult for qi refining stage cultivators to find the exact location of the sea of consciousness. Only a few extremely talented individuals, under certain opportunities, have the possibility of discovering it. Because the sea of consciousness belongs to the stage after foundation building, where one's spiritual energy is transformed into magical power, it can only be accessed in that realm. The birth of divine consciousness within the sea of consciousness is an extremely profound application of spiritual energy, incomparable to divine thoughts. However, Zheng Yi did not focus his attention on the sea of consciousness, but on the golden light. What is this golden dot? Why does it appear in my sea of consciousness? Various questions surged in his mind. 
Zheng Yi concentrated all his attention and carefully extended his divine thoughts into the sea of consciousness. He faintly discovered that the golden dot was actually a golden seed. Covered with tiny symbols and inscriptions, it was too small for Zheng Yi to determine what it was. But the only thing he could be certain of was that this golden seed was definitely something extraordinary. What intrigued him the most was that the golden light emitted by this golden seed just now swept through his entire body, giving him a feeling as if the shackles burdening him were directly torn apart, and the suppression of his body's malevolent aura and bloodthirstiness seemed to have dissipated in an instant. Recently, a series of massacres of zombies had inevitably caused Zheng Yi to be contaminated with a large amount of bloodthirsty aura. Originally, he planned to stay for a few days to weaken the bloodthirsty aura on his body before taking action again. Unexpectedly, all the golden light disappeared with a sweep. Could it be that the golden seed is? It seemed that Zheng Yi had thought of something, so he took out the soul-capturing banner that he had rarely used recently. The aura inside it surged as if it was about to erupt. The vengeful spirits and fierce ghosts inside had advanced too quickly, to the point where the materials restricting the soul-capturing banner could no longer contain their malevolent aura. However, the next second, something magical happened. The golden seed in the sea of consciousness appeared hazy and quietly stayed there, motionless, as if illusory. But as Zheng Yi's attention shifted, faint traces of weak golden light scattered. The raging soul-capturing banner suddenly stopped, as if it had encountered a natural enemy. It instantly shrank into a ball and hid in the corner of the Qi Si in the Dantian, not daring to move at all. Although Zheng Yi had started to upgrade the soul-capturing banner before, it was undeniable that the materials required to upgrade it to the level of a supreme-grade law weapon were extremely precious. His cultivation level was still too low, and he couldn't even come into contact with such high-level materials. He could only take it step by step, using some of the materials that could be found in the integrated union to complete the first stage of tempering and upgrading. But overall, the soul capturing banner could only be considered a high level Qi refining law weapon for now. However, recently Zhang Yi had been collecting zombie crystal cores and had killed a large number of zombies. In the process, the main soul of the soul capturing banner, the red clothed female ghost, had absorbed a massive amount of yin aura. It had now successfully advanced to the level of a hundred-year-old ghost. As for the other successfully refined yin soldiers and fierce ghosts, their strength is also rapidly increasing, so the refinement of the soul-capturing banner has temporarily entered a stagnant state. Otherwise, there would be no way to completely suppress these greatly strengthened ghost creatures. The soul-capturing banner, this law weapon, is so famous in the sect that it can be considered a model of overcoming the strong with the weak. If it weren't for various issues, how could it not be taken seriously? It is normal for the ghosts refined inside to be too strong and backlash against their master. For a Qi refining stage cultivator, it is not easy to control the soul capturing banner. Therefore, the recent fluctuations of the soul capturing banner have made Zheng Yi worried and dare not continue to increase the power of this demonic banner recklessly. But at this moment, Zheng Yi discovered a sudden burst of golden light in his sea of consciousness, like a rising sun. Under the shining hot light, the turbulent soul-capturing banner was completely suppressed. Even those yin soldiers and ghost creatures all behaved obediently, without any trace of defiance. As Zheng Yi's divine sense swept over, he could clearly sense that these yin soldiers and fierce ghosts were cowering in a corner of the soul-capturing banner's gloomy space, with a look of fear. The golden seed born in his sea of consciousness floated quietly there, emitting a faint but firm golden light. Apart from suppressing the rioting soul-capturing banner, there was nothing else unusual. Zheng Yi seemed to realize something and quickly ended his seclusion, heading back to the doomsday world. Dot dot dot. In the doomsday world, in a zombie-infested town filled with the stench of death. Roar. Deafening roars echoed in the sky turning the previously calm town into a boiling pot as if a drop of cold water had been dripped into hot oil. Pairs of ferocious eyes stared at a figure standing on the rooftop of a high building, claws desperately reaching upward, as if wanting to tear that person apart and devour them. This horde of bloodthirsty zombies was enough to make anyone feel the fear of the end of the world. However, the figure on the rooftop stood still, seemingly unaffected. Instead, Half of their face was hidden in the shadows, sharp eyes scanning the surroundings. After a moment, they spoke lightly, looking at the gathering horde of zombies. 
These past few days, the surroundings have been cleaned up too thoroughly. There should only be these left. Then, Zheng Yi activated his flying sword, releasing a dazzling light under the sunlight. Like a swimming fish, the sword pierced through the horde of zombies, instantly causing numerous zombies to have their heads explode, as fast as lightning. Sword light turned into shadows, sword chi crisscrossed. In the blink of an eye, a large number of zombies fell. However, for the zombies that were only obsessed with flesh and blood, death would never make them afraid. Instead, the massive horde of zombies desperately crowded forward, roaring. But at this moment, Zheng Yi's attention was not on the crowded horde below, but on the golden seed in his Sea of Consciousness. With the falling of numerous zombies, as the owner of the Sea of Consciousness, he faintly felt that the quality of the golden seed seemed to have increased by a tiny bit, extremely weak, as if a bit of air had been added. If it weren't for the fact that the golden seed was born in his Sea of Consciousness and Zheng Yi paid special attention to it, focusing all his attention on it, he would probably think it was just an illusion. But in his perception, the golden seed did indeed increase by a tiny bit of imperceptible brightness. It was just that this improvement was extremely small, and if Zheng Yi hadn't deliberately observed it, it would probably be difficult to notice. Growing a little bit, almost imperceptible tiny improvement. Zheng Yi furrowed his brows. Only after the horde of zombies in a town had been completely wiped out did Zheng Yi confirm his feeling that the golden seed had indeed grown. As a result, more questions surged in his mind. After a moment, as Zheng Yi compared the information in his mind with the data from the Dia Immortal Domain, he still couldn't easily confirm. But then, Zheng Yi's mind stirred, and a bold idea flashed in his head. This faint golden light, obtained from the heavens and earth after killing zombies. I don't know the source, the specific circumstances, or even how it is generated, but it can exert a powerful suppressing effect on the backlash of the soul-capturing banner. Could it really be what I imagined? However, it is still too early to draw conclusions now. I can't be sure, and I need to verify it again. Thinking of this, Zheng Yi decided to calm down and carefully discern, not easily jumping to conclusions. After collecting a small number of zombie crystal cores, he left once again. Dot dot dot. Hu hu. Under the setting sun, a sudden gust of wind blew in a hidden ruin. The cold and eerie aura quickly spread to the surroundings, and grim phantoms appeared in the air one by one. It was precisely a nest where yin spirits and vengeful ghosts bred. From the scattered bones around, it could be seen that this place was once a terrifying death ground. Under the blood moon's illumination, those deceased humans were unable to leave, and their breeding resentment reassembled, turning this place into a death zone, a gathering place for a large number of yin spirits and vengeful ghosts. Suddenly, in the distance, a figure shrouded in black clothes, emitting a faint black mist all over, strode towards this place, covering a distance of more than 10 meters in a single step. The speed was as fast as lightning, rushing over, and only stopping when it was close. This is a sinister and evil place. If it can be preserved for a hundred years, it will probably become a treacherous place. It had to be said that in the post-apocalyptic world where spiritual energy was lacking, it was truly incredible for such a sinister and evil place to be born. In the Duya Immortal Domain, it would require many conditions to create such a sinister and evil place, which the post-apocalyptic world did not possess at all. It could only be said that this post-apocalyptic world was truly bizarre, having sacrificed the lives of the entire world and becoming strange and deviating from the normal trajectory of the world. Roar. When the figure appeared, the numerous condensed resentful spirits and fierce ghosts naturally noticed and roared, rushing towards this figure. In an instant, the figure was enveloped in a blue shield, surrounded by ferocious ghosts extending sharp ghost claws. Under the envelopment of the black mist, countless ghost hands crazily tore and tried to grab the figure inside, wanting to tear it apart. Let's begin. A blue flame suddenly soared and those ferocious ghosts that were tainted by the blue flame were like ignited torches, instantly burning up. The ghost creatures burned in large numbers, forming huge floating fireballs in the air. The pale green flames reflected on the faces of the figures, revealing clear features. At the same time, Zheng Yi took out the soul-capturing banner. With a casual move, the small magic banner in the palm of his hand quickly expanded, rapidly turning into a flag that was half a meter long. The pitch-black surface of the banner was covered with blood-colored patterns, condensing into eerie and elusive runes. The soul-capturing banner fluttered in front of Zheng Yi, 
and at the center of the black mist was a vortex as tall as a person, as if it had formed a huge passage. Led by the main soul of the soul-capturing banner, the red-clothed centennial ghost, numerous yin soldiers and ghost creatures swarmed towards the sky full of ghost creatures. It seems that it's not just about killing zombies. Eliminating these resentful spirits and fierce ghosts also gives me an unknown power feedback. That strand of golden light has indeed grown. The level of these yin spirits and resentful ghosts was higher than that of the zombie horde. After annihilating a large number of ghost creatures, Zheng Yi noticed that the golden seed in his sea of consciousness seemed to shine brighter. The nests of yin spirits and resentful ghosts that bred in the wilderness were naturally no match for the yin soldiers and ghost creatures in the soul-capturing banner. They were swept away by the yin soldiers led by the red-clothed ghost. The soul-capturing banner also absorbed the source of the evil aura that nurtured the ghost creatures inside. Seeing that the ghost creature nest in front of him had been swept away, Zheng Yi controlled the soul-capturing banner. With a command from his mouth, the black mist once again formed a huge vortex passage, and the main soul of the red-clothed ghost led the yin soldiers and fierce ghosts back. This time, after devouring numerous resentful spirits, the strength of the yin soldiers and fierce ghosts was once again enhanced. However, with Zheng Yi's summons, they obediently returned to the soul-capturing banner without any provocation or collision, unlike before when they had a slight subconscious resistance. After being illuminated by the mysterious golden light, these yin soldiers and fierce ghosts in the soul-capturing banner seemed to have been cleansed of some resentment and evil aura, and their thinking became much clearer. They were no longer in the state of going berserk and killing as soon as they were stained with blood, nor were they a confused gathering of resentful spirits. They seemed to have gained some self-awareness and showed more awe and fear towards Zheng Yi, the master of the soul-capturing banner. Their strength had once again greatly increased, but this time, they did not dare to provoke or collide with anything. Instead, they obediently returned to the soul-capturing banner. That's right, perhaps the mysterious golden light is indeed the power of merit that I imagined, which can only be sensed by high-level cultivators in the Dia Immortal domain. It's just that I have never heard of any kind of power of merit that can form a semi-physical state that can be directly detected. And this power of merit in the doomsday world, since it can be obtained so easily, just by killing zombies and fierce ghosts. The power of merit, according to the rumors in the Dia Immortal Domain, is a kind of heavenly feedback that can only be sensed or utilized by high-level cultivators. Generally, only by performing great meritorious deeds or by killing the heads of bloodthirsty great demons can one obtain this power of merit as a kind of feedback. This power has no effect on low-level cultivators, and they may not even sense it. However, the reason why it has spread is based on the records and information circulated by various parties in the Dia Immortal domain. This power of merit is a kind of power that many high-level cultivators dream of. Although it cannot be used for combat or cultivation, it has a miraculous effect. It can transform decay into magic and eliminate the karmic forces on high-level cultivators, thereby erasing or avoiding calamities. Cultivators go against the natural order, plundering the resources of heaven, earth, and all things to benefit themselves, seeking longevity, boundless magical power, and limitless cultivation. But at the same time, unknowingly, they accumulate karmic forces throughout their lives. Even those who cultivate in seclusion in the mountains and pursue purity and high virtue cannot escape this fate. It's just that the depth of this karmic force varies. In this world, people survive by consuming the five grains. Cultivators are no exception. Although they possess great magical powers and divine abilities, their destruction upon the world is also greater. Therefore, the karmic debts on the bodies of high-level cultivators are not what ordinary people imagine. Generally speaking, Righteous cultivators have less karmic debts on their bodies, while the top demons in the demon realm, those who roam freely, have hands stained with fresh blood and are burdened with blood debts. This also makes it more difficult for them to transcend tribulation. The interaction between heaven and earth causes the thunder tribulation that strikes them to be several times larger than others. However, the power of merit can eliminate the karmic debts on their bodies and dissolve the blood debts on cultivators, making it much easier for them to transcend tribulation compared to others. However, the power of merit comes from the mysterious feedback of the universe and cannot be obtained through mere asceticism. Only those high-level cultivators pay deliberate attention to it. Many low-level cultivators have never even heard of it. Zheng Yi also learned about it from a miscellaneous book. 
and even more superior to the power of merit as the golden light of merit. That is the result of performing great deeds that are highly beneficial to humanity or the heavens. Through the mysterious feedback of the universe, the power of merit condenses and takes the form of golden light. The golden light of merit does not provide much assistance in cultivation, but it is a natural nemesis to all kinds of evil karmic debts, grievances, and backlash. Zheng Yi has witnessed this firsthand and personally experienced it. Even the yin soldiers and fierce ghosts in the soul-capturing banner are suppressed by the golden light. The seemingly calm and powerless golden light carries an unimaginable purifying effect against evil attributes. It can even dissolve the most troublesome blood debts and backlash of demonic cultivators. Just this one attribute is already extraordinary. Since the day Zheng Yi embarked on the path of demonic cultivation, he had never imagined that he would one day have the opportunity to obtain the power of merit. A demonic cultivator who is full of evil and blood debts, actually receiving the feedback of the power of merit from the interaction between heaven and earth. Isn't this a joke? However, after a brief thought, Zheng Yi realized that it was not impossible. Ordinary demonic cultivators are burdened with blood debts and karmic debts all over their bodies. Even if the heavens wanted to strike them dead, they wouldn't have the time to do so. How could they possibly receive the feedback of merit? But Zheng Yi is different. He has always been focused on cultivation and has not caused much harm. He rarely even kills, let alone harm ordinary people. As for battles between cultivators, that is another matter. They are all parasites between heaven and earth and rarely generate blood debts and karmic debts. What Zheng Yi truly kills are the hordes of zombies and vengeful spirits in the apocalypse world. These ghosts and zombies are not truly conscious beings, but more like tiny viruses attached to this world, spreading like a plague. For the entire normal world, they are like maggots on bones and a contagious disease. Slaying these zombies and ghosts that threaten the normal operation of the world is, in a way, helping the world's will to restore itself. Therefore, it is not difficult to imagine receiving rewards. Of course, this may also be related to the fact that Zheng Yi is not originally from this world. As an outsider, Zheng Yi's identity is actually considered a foreign demon by the world's consciousness, just like these zombies and fierce ghosts. They are all viruses of the world. But when Zheng Yi came to this apocalyptic world, he was busy killing hordes of zombies and slaying evil spirits in various ghost dens. His actions were beneficial to this world, which is why he received rewards from the world's will. It's like playing a game and encountering a major bug. The locals eliminate evil spirits and zombies for their own survival. Their origins are closely related to this world. To survive, one must first save oneself, and only then can others be saved. But Zheng Yi is different. He is like a mercenary from outside, someone else doing the work for you, risking their lives. Naturally, you have to pay them. This is the cycle of heaven. The world's consciousness is chaotic and cannot distinguish these things. It only acts according to a fixed balance principle. Moreover, Zheng Yi has been acting like a madman during this time, like a huge bulldozer, killing zombies in groups, destroying one demon cave after another. Wherever he goes, the number of destroyed zombies and vengeful spirits is countless, but it is definitely a considerable number. Therefore, over time, Zheng Yi has become the first person to benefit from the world's will and establish feedback. He has gained such great benefits. Even because there is too much power of merit, it directly materializes in the feedback of the world's consciousness, becoming a seed of merit in the sea of consciousness. This is the benefit of being the first person to benefit. If others come later, they cannot repeat Zheng Yi's path. The world's consciousness cannot be deceived twice. This is like taking advantage of the world. The first person may succeed. When others try to imitate later, they will only be kicked away. Of course, Zheng Yi cannot think of these things now. But Zheng Yi knows one thing, the power of merit is indeed a good thing, and it is best to have more of it. Although it doesn't help with cultivation or improve his own strength, just by erasing the power of sin and karma, it already has an incredible effect. The power of merit is indeed a good thing. At least for now, with the help of this seed of merit in the sea of consciousness, I can continuously refine the blood slaughter chi of the soul capturing banner. The yin soldiers and fierce ghosts inside, under the illumination of the golden light, seem to gradually regain their consciousness, instead of being confused and only left with the instinct to kill. And this also helps stabilize the soul-capturing banner, 
giving me time to continue searching for materials for advancement. For now, Zheng Yi can only think of this much. After all, although there are mentions of the power of merit and the golden light in the great Yi immortal domain, they are just briefly mentioned. Those are points that only high-level cultivators would pay attention to, and even cultivators at the foundation building stage and violet palace stage do not have the qualifications. These things are even less relevant to ordinary cultivators. Zheng Yi's realm is still too low, only at the fifth level of qi refining. He is still far from the foundation building stage and cannot come into contact with the true power of merit. But one thing is certain, this power of merit is very useful for cultivators at the gold core realm, and even higher realms require it. Knowing that it is a useful thing, Zheng Yi will keep it and discover its effects when he reaches a certain realm. There is no need to be too anxious. Having obtained the seeds of merit, Zheng Yi became even more diligent, knowing that slaughtering zombies and vengeful spirits would benefit this world and allow him to gain the power of merit that the heavens and earth would respond to. From a radius of 50 li around the gathering place, to hundreds of li, and then to a range of 500 li, Zheng Yi exerted great effort in killing hordes of zombies and vengeful spirits. One after another, he swept through demonic caves and ghost dens, leaving no zombies or ghostly creatures in his wake. The seeds of merit in his sea of consciousness still remained in that illusory state, but Zheng Yi could clearly feel that with each slaughter of evil spirits and zombie hordes, the seed became slightly more solid. Although faint, the degree of change was not obvious, but it had indeed strengthened. The size of a soybean, it emitted a brighter golden light. During this process, along with Zheng Yi's vigorous cleansing of the ghostly creatures and zombies in the post-apocalyptic world, the number of zombie crystal cores and ghostly materials he obtained increased rapidly, quickly piling up like small mountains. On one hand, the efficiency and energy consumption of the formation cultivating the five blood fetus ghost infants increased, requiring a greater number of zombie crystal cores to sustain it. Originally, Zheng Yi had doubts about whether these blood fetus ghost infants, being netherworld Dao evil objects, would adapt to this world after being transplanted here. But now, based on his observations, he found that these ghost infants were very fond of zombie flesh and blood, and even underwent some kind of strange transformation. From a state of being ethereal, they gradually solidified and underwent certain changes similar to the zombies and ghostly creatures of this world. At the same time, with the support of abundant resources and zombie crystal cores, the efficiency of the blood flesh pool in absorbing zombie flesh and blood increased, and its scale was several tens of times larger than that of the Kijia in Bardong town. After all, the Kijia was taking a great risk, practicing forbidden techniques, so naturally they wanted to be as concealed as possible and reduce their scale. In the post-apocalyptic world, where would Zheng Yi have such concerns? He didn't dare to feed the ghost infants with living people in a crazy manner, but as the ruler of a gathering place, zombies were simply rampant in this world, and there were as many as he needed, a constant supply. Moreover, zombie flesh and blood contained mysterious energy, making each blood fetus ghost infant grow plump and chubby, with big heads and ears. Now, Zheng Yi was worried that he had fed these ghost infants too much, and that he would have trouble controlling them in the future, or even fail to refine them. On the other hand, with so many ghostly creatures being killed, the number of refined soul stones naturally increased. All the low-grade refined soul stones were handed over to the Kijia's merchant group for sale, and the obtained spirit stones supported his own cultivation and the purchase of a large amount of materials. The sprouting and growth of the seeds of merit requires a long time. After confirming this during this period of time, Zheng Yi realized that with his current strength, killing ordinary zombie hordes and common vengeful spirits would not bring much profit. Only by becoming stronger and improving his strength could he find more powerful vengeful spirits and zombie kings in the post-apocalyptic world, which would allow him to gather world merit more quickly. Therefore, Zheng Yi no longer went crazy killing zombie hordes and searching for evil ghost dens like before. Instead, he set aside a certain amount of time to focus on his own cultivation. Dot dot dot. Duya Immortal Domain. Bardong Town's Mine, the Black Iron Ore Vein, Deep Underground. In this deep underground place, Zheng Yi opened a simple cultivation chamber. This place has already been designated as a restricted area by Zheng Yi. There are people guarding outside, and there is also a hallucination formation set up. Ordinary people cannot enter at all, and the interior has complex passages, making it easy to get lost. No one dares to trespass. 
Due to the Kijia family's previous arrangement of the Nine Yin Gathering Evil Formation, the original spiritual veins in the Earth's veins were extracted, resulting in extremely thin spiritual energy in this area. Only in this mining area, because there are mineral veins present and it is also the place where they set up the formation, the Kijia family did not touch the broken spiritual veins under these mineral veins. Therefore, the spiritual energy here is much higher than in other areas. Zheng Yi directly dug out a space of tens of square meters in the mountain, and set up a spirit gathering formation with various cultivation materials. As a secret room for cultivation, Zheng Yi naturally would not treat himself poorly. Moreover, with the Kijia family's caravan trading and selling soul stones, they have become extremely popular, making him quite wealthy. Soul stones are a kind of basic material that any demonic cultivator easily uses in the cultivation process. Whether it is alchemy, refining tools, cultivating spells and techniques, etc., there is a certain demand for soul stones. Therefore, the sale of soul stones has been quite smooth. Of course, the yin soldiers and fierce ghosts that Zheng Yi previously assigned to the Kijia family's caravan leader also showed considerable foresight. Since the resentful spirits and fierce ghosts captured and refined by Zheng Yi in the end times world are only low level, the highest being equivalent to the sixth level of qi refining. The Kijia family only sells a small quantity of soul stones at a time, expanding outward and selling in small amounts, so it has not attracted the attention of others. Of course, as long as there are benefits in this world, there will always be people who act recklessly, especially in the demon realm, where they are all independent cultivators of the demonic path. Each of them is greedy and it is not difficult to understand their willingness to resort to unscrupulous means. The demonic cultivators in the demon realm are like locusts, covering the sky and the earth. Moreover, most of them are independent cultivators who are influenced by the overall style of the demon realm. Many of them are inherently greedy and do not care about the consequences of their actions. Especially when they discover easily plunderable benefits, they will definitely not hesitate to take action. According to the report Qilin gave to Zheng Yi, in the past two months alone, there have been more than one group of independent cultivators who have targeted the Kijia family. There was even one time when a group of mid-level qi refining cultivators at the fourth or fifth level of qi refining took action to rob them. However, the yin soldiers and fierce ghosts refined by the soul-capturing banner are not to be underestimated. They are terrifying creatures formed through the mutual killing and devouring of numerous resentful spirits and fierce ghosts. Coupled with the person in charge of the caravan selected by Kilin, their cultivation may not be outstanding, but each of them is experienced and cunning. Sometimes they intentionally feign surrender, and then suddenly release the yin soldiers and fierce ghosts to launch a surprise attack. With the assistance of the experts hired by the caravan, the two sides engage in a massacre, even ordinary high-level qi refining cultivators end up dying in regret. The yin soldiers and fierce ghosts refined by Zheng Yi maintain their combat effectiveness. They are all exquisite products honed from dozens or even hundreds of resentful spirits in the end times world. It is difficult for ordinary cultivators of the same level of qi refining to resist them. Unless a high-level qi refining cultivator takes action, it is difficult to defeat these yin soldiers and fierce ghosts. These killings have verified Zheng Yi's methods and demonstrated the strength of the Kijia family's caravan to the outside world, deterring many small forces that wanted to take advantage of the situation. After experiencing these setbacks, the subsequent transactions became normal and stable. This is how most demonic cultivators in the demon realm are. The majority of them are bullies who fear the strong. Strike first with a punch to prevent a hundred punches. As long as you demonstrate enough strength, prove that you are not to be trifled with, and make others recognize that messing with you will not only deny them the benefits they desire but may also result in them being severely injured. In that case, the entire game will change. Otherwise, greedy demonic cultivators will not easily give up until they have drained you of everything, leaving nothing behind. Due to the almost endless number of resentful spirits and fierce ghosts in the doomsday world, Zheng Yi has killed a considerable number of them in a period of time. To avoid attracting attention from outsiders, he requested that the Qi family caravan only trade at specific times and in small quantities. Even so, Zheng Yi has accumulated a considerable amount of wealth. With spiritual stones, consumption naturally follows. Zheng Yi earns money quickly and spends it lavishly.
He directly purchased a set of formation materials and set up a simple spirit gathering formation, placing spiritual stones at specific nodes. By operating the formation, he gathers the remaining spiritual energy in the Earth's veins. As the spirit gathering formation operates, the spiritual stones placed at specific nodes will shatter under the power of the formation, releasing spiritual energy to replenish the formation. The originally sparse spiritual energy becomes much denser, surpassing the concentration of a first-grade spiritual vein, which is very suitable for Zheng Yi's cultivation at the fifth level of qi refining. It must be said that it is precisely because he recently obtained a large number of spiritual stones that Zheng Yi dares to use them so recklessly. Otherwise, the remaining spiritual stones in his hand would have been spent long ago, unable to sustain such consumption. Cultivation is about who has more money. Zheng Yi has a deeper understanding of the true meaning behind these four words, wealth and cultivation go hand in hand. Dot dot dot. After balancing his time, Zheng Yi spends almost half of his energy on cultivation. With a secluded place abundant in spiritual energy for cultivation, Zheng Yi spends years hiding in a secret chamber deep within the veins to cultivate. Only during other times does he go to the doomsday world to search for and kill zombies and ghost creatures to supplement his resources. Every day is fully scheduled. Cultivation is still the main focus. After all, in the great Yi immortal domain, the strength of the fifth level of qi refining is not considered much. Even among the long-established independent cultivators, it may not be highly regarded. Even in the doomsday world, it is impossible to deal with powerful resentful spirits and zombie kings. The only way for Zheng Yi to collect more cultivation resources is to improve his realm and strengthen his power. Similarly, accumulating more merit power will make his path as a demonic cultivator wider and easier in the future, unlike other demonic cultivators who have to suppress the evil power of resentment and malevolence within their bodies with spirit partitioning. With the protection of merit power, Zheng Yi is not worried about these sinister forces disturbing him, and his cultivation efficiency is faster than others. The two are almost mutually reinforcing. In the secret chamber, a faint glow of spiritual energy flickers, the formation operates, and the spiritual stones placed everywhere light up one by one, releasing the contained spiritual energy as the formation operates, filling the secret chamber. Zheng Yi's cultivation technique absorbs the spiritual energy, slowly circulating as he breathes in and out. He was surrounded by a thick layer of spiritual energy, and his aura surged, causing even the calm secret chamber to tremble slightly. As his cultivation efficiency improved, the root of the technique continued to circulate within his body. Zheng Yi closed his eyes and keenly felt the changes throughout his entire body. Suddenly, he sensed that the golden seed in his sea of consciousness emitted a burst of golden light, shining into his body. The golden light did not move randomly, but attached itself to a certain place, emitting a golden glow as if repairing something. This is the black demonic technique I practice daily. Although I have tried my best to eliminate the demonic energy that has contaminated my body, there are still some remnants that are difficult to completely eradicate, like maggots attached to bones. Over time, this will cause chronic damage to the body. In fact, during the process of practicing any technique, there will be irreversible changes to the body. Righteous techniques are peaceful and stable, focusing on establishing a solid foundation, so the damage is not as severe. However, Demonic cultivators are always bold and make rapid progress. The demonic path is mysterious and often offers shortcuts, making it easier to cause certain injuries. Physical injuries are not a big deal, as cultivators have much stronger self-healing abilities than ordinary people can imagine. But demonic techniques absorb the yin and demonic energy between heaven and earth, relying on mysterious methods to grow rapidly. This also leads to the attachment of demonic energy and the integration of yin energy into the flesh and blood, making it easy for the Tao Foundation to become unstable. It's like a river that was originally a small stream with a gentle flow suddenly being flooded by a raging mountain torrent, eroding the riverbed. The originally smooth riverbank is directly washed away, leaving behind numerous gaps. And these gaps are the injuries caused during cultivation. This is how demonic cultivation techniques work. They only want to take shortcuts, using the yin and demonic energy between heaven and earth to cultivate. To open up the meridians, they need to endure the erosion of various demonic and evil energies time and time again. Although the short-term effects are remarkable, the integration of demonic and yin energy into the body is also difficult to completely remove, causing hidden injuries. 
They may not be noticeable in normal circumstances, but after a long period of cultivation, they will cause an unstable foundation and even an inability to break through bottlenecks. This is the difference between righteous and demonic cultivation techniques. Righteous techniques have a solid foundation, but unless there are abundant resources, the initial cultivation speed is extremely slow. This creates a huge disparity, with the disciples of prestigious sects being incredibly powerful, while ordinary disciples can only climb slowly. On the other hand, demon realm cultivators have no restrictions on their selection. They are a mixed bag, and their cultivation techniques are mysterious, often involving the use of living souls, flesh and blood, and the power of yin and demonic energy. The efficiency in the early stages is extremely high, but it is rare for someone to have the firm willpower to reach a high level. Both have their advantages and disadvantages, but both can reach great heights and attain the ultimate Tao fruit. Zheng Yi had heard that disciples of some top demonic sects regularly take pills to expel demonic energy and eliminate external troubles, purifying their bodies. These demonic injuries may not be significant once or twice, and the damage they cause is not great. However, if they accumulate to a certain extent, especially during the critical moment of breaking through realms, if the riverbank suddenly collapses, it will likely cause a series of consequences. Since Zheng Yi was only at the fifth level of qi refining, he didn't pay much attention to it and planned to find a solution when he reached a higher level of qi refining. Unexpectedly, the power of this merit could cleanse the demonic energy and blood resentment within his body. Although killing or being killed is a common occurrence in the demon realm. But once someone kills, they will inevitably be entangled with karma and blood resentment. These things are like maggots attached to bones, almost impossible to cleanse. Most of the time, this karma seems harmless, but it actually lays deep-rooted troubles. If one accumulates too much blood resentment and karma, when breaking through to the Violet Palace stage after the Foundation Building stage, or even at the higher Gold Core realm, they may be attacked by heavenly demons and fail to pass the test of the Tao Heart. As long as they don't make it through, they will be possessed by heavenly demons, their soul memories will be devoured, and they won't even be able to reincarnate. Their true spirit will dissipate, leaving behind an empty shell. In the demon realm, Zheng Yi had killed several enemies from the Calamity Path and the three brothers of the Qi family's main lineage. Undoubtedly, he had accumulated some blood guilt. However, unexpectedly, the golden light of merit could actually cleanse these strange things. It was truly an unexpected joy. With the removal of blood guilt and the dissipation of malevolent energy, after a period of cultivation, Zheng Yi's body's aura became even more peaceful, returning to a state of tranquility. He felt that his thoughts had become clear, even when contemplating cultivation techniques, it became faster and simpler. The power of merit is indeed useful. Although it cannot directly enhance one's strength, it can allow one to go further on the path of cultivation. This change made Zheng Yi very happy. He had previously resolutely abandoned the family legacy established by two generations of the Zan Kong city, only because he was forced by the situation to switch to demonic cultivation. His goal was to pursue the great Tao of heaven and earth, a stronger realm, and that elusive longevity. It was not because he was inherently cruel and violent, so this state of tranquility suited Zheng Yi's taste. Rapid improvement in strength without incurring karma. This was definitely the state that cultivators dreamt of. Dot dot dot. Three days later, Zheng Yi had to awaken from his cultivation and come out of seclusion. He had previously instructed the people outside not to disturb his cultivation unless it was something important. This time, he immediately came out of seclusion because he received some news that was crucial to his conception of the sword embryo, which was related to the foundation building Great Dao. He could not afford to treat it lightly. And this time, news about the sword refining material that Zheng Yi needed had arrived from the merchant group. Qi Chuan, the uncle of Qi Lin, was a staunch supporter of his lineage. When Qi Lin took over, he directly promoted Qi Chuan to be his right-hand man. After establishing the merchant group, Qi Chuan was even assigned to be in charge of one of the core trade routes. Last time when Zheng Yi established the merchant group, he ordered Qi Lin to gather a group of the family's backbone to facilitate control over these people. Zheng Yi specially bestowed them with yin soldiers and ghosts to protect them. On one hand, it was to protect the heads of these merchant groups, and on the other hand, it served as a visible means of supervision and control. 
Chi Chuan was one of the first people who readily integrated the Yin soldiers into his body after hearing Zheng Yi's instructions, so Zheng Yi had some impression of him. Greetings, my lord. Arriving at the Qi family's residence, Zheng Yi looked up and noticed that the hall had undergone renovations and become even more spacious. Zheng Yi didn't mind this. He stipulated that 70% of the profits from the merchant group's business activities would be handed over, with the remaining 30% being managed by the Qi family. This was a simple principle. You can't let the horses run without giving them grass to eat. A virtuous cycle, employing both rewards and punishments, was the way to maintain balance. As long as Zheng Yi held the initiative and firmly grasped the lives of these key figures, he would not fear any underhanded tricks. It was also because the Qi family's peripheral members had chosen the right side and followed the right person that they did not suffer any repercussions after the main lineage was cleansed. On the contrary, they developed rapidly and occupied a dominant position, becoming the new main lineage. This was also reasonable, and outsiders had no grounds to say anything. They all shared the same ancestor and surname, Qi. The ancestral property should be inherited by those who possessed virtue. Due to Zheng Yi's investment, the Qi family's strength had increased significantly in a short period of time. Qi Chuan, for example, was now in the mid-stage of Qi refining. These peripheral branches of the Qi family have finally become orthodox after much difficulty, and they deeply understand how difficult this moment is. Therefore, they must firmly grasp Zheng Yi's thigh and be even more loyal to Zheng Yi. Sitting on the specially customized spacious seat, Zheng Yi slightly relaxed his expression and looked up at Qi Chuan, who was standing respectfully below. He asked slowly, is the information reliable? Reporting to the Lord, the Ninth Caravan has specially sent this information, and it has been repeatedly confirmed and verified without error. Qi Chuan bowed and replied in a low voice, half a month later, there will be an auction in the City of Shadows. All right, I understand, you have done well, I remember. You may leave now. Waving his hand, Chi Chuan quickly bowed, lowered his head, and then turned and left. As the person in charge of a caravan, he is usually very busy. If it weren't for the fact that what Zheng Yi wanted was of utmost importance, a top priority for the entire Qi family, he probably wouldn't have come personally to report. A flesh and blood gourd. This is a good thing. I just don't know if it can meet my requirements. This is a mutated demonic plant, which is said to have been bred and cultivated by the blood and flesh sect from the sword cultivating gourd. As the name suggests, the sword cultivating gourd is a good material for refining swords. Inside the small gourd contains the universe and the five elements. If you throw a piece of gold from the five elements into it and nurture it for a hundred years, you may be able to refine a good sword embryo. However, the sword cultivating gourd itself is an apex level spiritual root. Only a few major sword Tao sects have planted a few of them, and they can only be nourished by the five element spiritual soil. It consumes countless resources, and even if other sects obtain it, they cannot afford to nurture it. This is another way of refining swords that is independent of metal sword embryos, known as the spiritual plant sword embryo. The blood and flesh sect obtained a few sword cultivating gourd seeds hundreds of years ago, but because they didn't have a unique cultivation method, they simply used demonic secret techniques to nurture them based on the characteristics of the sword cultivating gourd. Unexpectedly, after a hundred years, they actually succeeded in growing one, which was named the blood and flesh gourd. Unfortunately, its quality was unsatisfactory and could only be considered a semi-finished product, so they didn't pay much attention to it and it gradually ended up outside. The blood and flesh gourd is a variant of the sword cultivating gourd and also belongs to a kind of sword refining material that can devour cultivators, flesh and blood to grow rapidly. However, the flying swords refined from it are bloodthirsty demonic weapons that are prone to backlash against their owners, and their quality is far inferior to that of genuine sword cultivating gourds. The advantage is that the blood and flesh gourd can be quickly cultivated. As long as enough cultivators, flesh and blood are invested, a finished bloodthirsty demonic sword can be refined in just a few years. Although the flying swords cultivated from the blood and flesh gourd are a quick method in the demonic path, the disadvantages they possess are nothing to me. First of all, as a bloodthirsty demonic weapon, the blood and flesh gourd needs to absorb a large amount of cultivators, flesh and blood to grow rapidly. Even if a demonic cultivator wants to kill enough cultivators to gather sufficient flesh and blood to cultivate the blood and flesh gourd, it is almost impossible. 
Even in the demon realm, if an old demon were to kill independent cultivators on a large scale, it would easily attract a collective attack. To accomplish such a thing, it definitely cannot be done by an individual, but rather by a certain sect or force. Secondly, although the blood and flesh gourd is derived from the sword cultivating gourd, it is truly incomparable to the original. There is a world of difference between the bloodthirsty demonic swords cultivated from it and the genuine sword cultivating gourds. However, this also depends on the grade of the blood and flesh gourd and the cultivation level of the cultivator using it. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.